fear or their own experiences, right? Look at that. So that's why the you that's why are the you are talking about the Bible. Yes. You have no idea about your uh, Quran. That's a, did you ever read the Bible, boss? I haven't read it. Covered, I'm gonna give you the Bible, man. Read the okay. Bible. Take a look. Daily, daily. Yeah. I'll explain. So they woke up and then they say this. No, so they wake up from the death. So don't don't worry about it, okay? So we don't know. They woke up. That's all we know. You're not. I'm not gonna say they woke up from death. I'm gonna say they woke up. Well, then Allah does not know stuff. But tell me who wrote Surah Muhammad. I mean, it's not like it was down to one scribe. Do you see? What I'm saying is, he could have wrote the whole. He could have wrote down the entire Quran. So then, one person wrote down the Quran. Hey sir, how are you? Good, good, good. good. You have any question? Um, I'm just uh, waiting for my daughter. Sure, sure. Okay. So are you Muslim, huh? Yes, I am. Beautiful, beautiful. I always, I know you're here to talk, huh? <laughs> not really, but like this is uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm talking. It's okay, that's good. So I always ask a Muslim, why are you Muslim? Did you want to move out of the Muslim? Sure, yeah. Okay, so why are you Muslim? Um, because I believe it's true. That comes down to it. Okay, so what what is true is that you believe? Um, well, I would say, to simplify, I would say that I believe whatever the Quran says is true. Okay, yeah. so what Quran says that true, so... So you, so you, well, one uh, lies one, and Muhammad is a prophet. Mm -hmm. How can you prove that Muhammad is a prophet? I mean, that question would be applied to all prophets, right? To all prophets? No, yes. we're talking about the Muhammad, right? Right, now. but what I'm saying is that. Go ahead, please. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. There's so, a lot of prophets came here. So, whatever criterion that you would say is acceptable for those prophets would, not, would apply to you. Okay, so how, how, what's a, a definition of prophet? What's a definition of prophet? Someone who receives, uh, well, there's, there's, I guess, a little bit of a distinction between, I guess, the Christian conception of prophethood and the uh, Islamic conception, but generally speaking, sure. they receive prophecy, right? Yeah. So, so it's, see the prophecy, so did Muhammad receive any prophecy? Yeah. What prophecy is in the Quran? Yeah, there's one. In, there's one prophecy in the Quran. There's the. Uh, there's the. What's it called? Uh, I can't give. I can. If I look it up, I can get it for sure. you. Sure. Tell me which one is it. Uh, surah in, I think it's Surah Rum. Okay. Which is the uh, Surah about the Romans. Sure. Okay. It says that the Romans will win after being uh, defeated. Okay. So here we go. This is the one. Can so you hold on? Yeah. Hold on one second. Let me. Few years with Allah's decision to pass it. Choice. With help of Allah, He helps me well, and He is exalted in my most well. So that's the one. So yeah, it starts with the Roman Empire has been defeated. This is in reference to the Persians defeating the. Sure, sure. So this is a prophecy by Allah or by Muhammad. It's given to Muhammad from Allah. Okay. No question is it's that. In the Quran. No, isn't the Quran? I understand the Quran, but that. So my question is that it's Muhammad did the prophecy. Or is uh, Allah did the prophecy? The prophecy comes from Allah. It's yeah, but see, can't, no, no. Can't I understand. Like, yeah. say, uh, when the prophet Daniel came. Yes. All right. So, or prophet uh, Isaiah. Sure. So he's saying that that's something gonna happen. All right. So he's saying that. Okay. From from God. Yeah, we, we, we the God has a connection behind that. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, okay. So he was saying in in the Bible. So mm -hmm. God has said that to me, or God has doing that. So okay. So this is prophecy. Daniel saying something. So he's saying that. Okay. But, but we wouldn't say that, or you wouldn't say that Daniel is the one who's just coming up with this. No, no. I understand that God has yes. prophesied. So my question is that. So here it's this word is from Allah or it's from Muhammad. It has to be from Allah. It has to be Allah. Yes. So this word. So question is that. So. God here yes. give a prophecy to Muhammad. Yes. So Muhammad say this is here. That's right. Yes. So this word from Muhammad, it's not from Allah. No, no, no. This word is from Allah, and Muhammad is speaking because it's revelation from Allah, right? I understand. See, yes. again. So this word, this Quran, yes, coming to the. Are you saying that this perspective here, because it's saying Allah? And it's no, no, no. My question is that. So this prophecy. Yes. You saying Muhammad saying that? Muhammad is saying it as it's been revealed from Allah. I understand. I understand. Yes. See, okay. well, I, I give you an example. Sure. So, book of Daniel. Sure. So, Daniel got the prophecy from God, so he wrote down. 
Yes. All right. Okay. So that means that's what we call Book of Daniel. Sure. So Daniel is writing down. Even well, though it's coming from yeah. So yeah. So the Daniel is writing down. Sure. Okay. So that's why we call Book of Daniel, and Daniel is saying that God give me a vision and all that sure. stuff. Okay. okay. So, but this word is who writing down? Uh, Muhammad is writing down. So who's writing? Well, down? we don't believe that Muhammad is writing this down. Okay. We believe it was revealed to him, but we believe that he had scribes. I mean, if that's what you're asking. If you're saying, is this Muhammad's word as in he's the Quran? The Quran is Muhammad. Is, is the revelation to Muhammad from Allah? I, from yeah, I, I, well, bro, my, my question is yes. that this prophecy yes. is saying, okay, look, okay, let me, Allah, let me, Allah is not saying directly here. That's right. Allah come to Muhammad, and he give a prophecy, mm. and the prophecy Muhammad saying that. Yes. That's right. Yes. So this is the saying of Muhammad. That's what my question is. You would say it's. I mean, uh, to be honest, like I don't see the. Okay, let me try to let me explain it sure, to you sure, as sure. best as I can. Sure. We think that the whole revelation here is from Allah to the angel of Jibreel to Muhammad, right? So every single thing here is from Allah. Okay. No, no, Allah. no question yeah. there. And we're gonna come back for the revelation thing. Sure. But see here, Allah. Yes. Here is Jibreel. Sure. Okay. Jibreel give it to it. And that Allah word, and Allah word comes here. Yes. That's right. Yes. Okay. Now we talk about this prophecy. Okay. So this prophecy come from Allah to Muhammad. Yes. So, so this is saying of Muhammad. I mean, it's just it's because you could technically say yes, it's a saying of Muhammad. Then you would say the whole Quran is saying of Muhammad, right? But it's but we would say like it's a revelation, right? It's like it's, I understand yeah. the whole revelation. Yes. As a Quran is come from God uh, yes. and somebody yes. written down. That's right. right? Okay. okay yes. But when you say that this prophecy uh -huh. is Muhammad saying it's not coming directly from Allah. It's not coming directly. Boom! Here as this. So okay. you're saying that you're saying that the book was not literally like just manifested. No, no. Ma, I'm not. I'm asking you a simple question. I yes. just want to make sure that it's saying of Muhammad, or is this a saying of uh, see, Allah? But, but see, this is where I'm a little confused because, like, if you understand. No, I want to understand that. Right. I want to understand that. Okay, tell me for this. I understand that the revelation it's come from. from Allah to Muhammad, Muhammad is not the, not the, we wouldn't say he's the source, he's not the, he, it's like, it's not the manifest, like his, it's like, it's not emanating from him, right, it comes from Allah, Allah is the one who's, who's revealing it, Muhammad doesn't, I mean, let me give you an example, sure. we believe that Muhammad, like, uh, so well, or some. No, brother, uh, yeah, yeah. believing I have no problem, yes. believing that I'm not worried about it, this particular one, yes. is a saying of Muhammad, or a saying of Allah? I mean, I'm not really understanding the point here because, because what I'm saying is like we believe that there are sayings of Muhammad, right? We have hadith, right? We would draw the distinction between this and the hadith because the hadith are not in here, right? That's right. Yeah. This is all of this is a revelation and from God, from Allah. Allah. That's fine. So my question is here now. Yes. So this is Allah prophesying. Allah's prophecy given to Muhammad. Okay. Again, I'm going to say. Okay. Now come to the topic. Okay. Sure. So Allah said to Muhammad. Yes. Did Allah speak to Muhammad? There are, I mean, you mean directly? Like as uh, in like... Okay, if you say this revelation, sure. how it comes from? From Jibreel, from Allah. Okay, now, now it's changed, okay, now, here. Okay, so this one, so you're, you're saying, saying, you're saying, mm -hmm. before you're saying that Allah gave them, okay, are we mm -hmm. talking about particular this part, okay, I'm not talking the whole Quran right now, okay? Okay. So because this is saying, this is Muhammad did the prophecy, that's right? That's what we are talking about. I mean, see, this is what I'm, I'm trying to communicate is that when we say anyone gives a prophecy, let's say any prophet or whatever, we say that they, it, the prophecy does not come from the person. The, person, the prophecy I, comes I, from I God. I understand, bro. Yeah. That's why I told you, I'm going to give you the Daniel, okay? Okay. But so, we would say that okay, like I said, Muhammad, Muhammad, okay? Yes. Muhammad, prophecy came to Muhammad. Yes. And Muhammad saying that, that's right? Revelation came to Muhammad. This one in particular is what we would say. No, this is a prophecy. Okay. Re in what this is is a revelation. This I'm, I'm talking. No, no, I'm, ta I'm, ta I'm, ta I'm talking about this prophecy. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So, so my question is that so this particular one mm -hmm. is revelation by Allah or uh, angel to Muhammad and then Muhammad saying that prophecy. Yes. That's right. Prophecy is not like that. God not gonna say. Oh, I'm prophesying that. Okay, God doesn't need to say that. Okay, people have to say that God give it to me this prophecy. This thing's gonna happen. That's right. Because okay. that's a God does the prophecy. Prophesy through the people. Yes. All right. So my question was earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, if Muhammad was the prophet, so what prophecy you did? He did. So you said that he's the one who did that. So now question is that this is saying of Muhammad this portion, or so explain me for that, this one, how you're going to explain that. I mean, it's, 
I would give the same explanation for this that I would give for every single verse in the book. It's from our belief is it's from Allah, revealed to Jibreel, given to Muhammad, right? Or it's 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 given to Jibreel and then Jibreel gives it to Muhammad. So now now you're saying that this come from Allah to Jibreel, Jibreel through Muhammad. Muhammad right? yes. Okay. So so does did Allah did not speak to Muhammad, that's right? Directly. Uh that is a little bit from what because there's these things called Hadith Qudsi. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but the Hadith Qudsi are these particular. We're talking on the Quran right, right now, so it's, yeah. stay on the Quran. That's if it's according no, 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 to Quran. No, no, I'm, so you asked the general question: Has there been a prophecy given, or has Allah ever spoken directly? And what I'm saying is, it's not such a simple question to ask because there is a possibility, but I can't give you a definitive because you could say that those Hadith Qudsi are also revealed from Jibril to Muhammad, or they were direct. Or, like, do you see what I'm saying here? It's a little. So bit Hadith different. also, you, you think uh, these also. So so, yeah. so some Hadith, you have this thing called Hadith Qudsi. I don't know if you're familiar with this. The Hadith okay. Qudsi concept is that there's no like, uh, there's a, what's it called? There, it's not, um, so the Quran has what you call uh, precise wording. It has, a, it has a wording that it's like, there's a poetic aspect to it. There's a, I wouldn't say poetic because it's not poetry, right? But what we say is that these revelations have a particular like, they were re revealed in a certain wording, right? Like Hadith word. Qudsi were revealed in generalities, right? So uh, Hadith Qudsi in general, what you would say is Hadith Qudsi are from Allah and they're, so, they're revelation, but they're not revelation the same way that the Quran is, right? So that's the distinction that I would draw is that that's why it's a little bit difficult for me to say, oh, Allah has, uh, has Allah spoken directly to Prophet Muhammad so He could have in this particular case, but from what I understand, it could also be the case that Jibreel also uh, okay. revealed it. So okay. that's where so it's so a little complicated for me to say, oh, this and that. No, my question, did Allah speak to Jibreel or did God spoke to Muhammad or not directly? That's question. Yes or no? Is that, I, but I know. it's not such a simple question because I, I, I would have to comb over the things. I would say generally speaking, from what I know, Jibreel has been always the, the master. So Allah did not speak to Muhammad? Again, it's not it's not simple for me to say. From my studies, it has been the case that Jibril has been always the one. Okay, so let's go. Yeah. Okay, so easy. Make it easy. So, sure. so Allah, sure. Jibril, and Muhammad yeah. talked. Sure. Okay, yes. so Muhammad talked to Gabriel. Uh, he received revelation from Jibril. How he talked to him because talking to him would require. Like, I mean, I think he did converse. We do believe he conversed at one point. But generally speaking, talking. I mean, it's not. We don't have like. Like a, we don't have like the, the back and forth between them. You know what I mean? No, no. Don't you believe that Muhammad was talking to Gabriel? Uh, yes, we, we again. We believe so, that. So what we believe more specifically is that we believe that Jibreel relieved, gave revelation. So we know Jibreel is talking to Muhammad. But uh, Muhammad talking to Jibreel? Yes, there are instances. But I guess, I guess yes. We would say yeah. They were having a conversation. Okay, so they have a conversation. Yeah, it's it. So can you show me that the, where is he was talking to in Jibreel in the Quran? I don't think you would find it. Do you believe Muhammad was talking to Gabriel? You're saying that is there a revelation as in Muhammad also having a correspondence with Jibril and that was recorded in the Quran? No. Okay, let's let's go back. Sure. So you believe yes. Gabriel was talking to Muhammad? We believe that there are, there are recorded instances where he was, yes. But so that's talking. not in the Quran. So how you get The only thing that? is Quran is Jibril to Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, same thing, same yes. thing. So, so uh, Jibreel was talking to Muhammad. Right, but you're asking about Muhammad talking back to Jibreel. That's no, 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 okay, no. With it, neither way, okay. Uh, talking, it's like I said. Do you believe Muhammad was talking to Gabriel? <laughs> we believe that there are instances where he talked. About. Okay, so talking, talking, talking means okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Talking, it's mean we are both talking sure, to each yes. other. Okay, so you have something, something, and I say something. Mm -hmm. So that means we're talking. Mm -hmm. If you say that, oh, oh, oh my God. If I if I say that. You hearing me only, okay? So then, mm -hmm. then you're not talking to me. You're just hearing me only, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. So that's a different story, okay? Mm -hmm. But you guys believe, as a Muslim, Muhammad was talking to Gabriel. So mm -hmm. where are you gonna find this one in the Quran? So you're asking if where, where is Muhammad's t words back to Gabriel in the Quran? Or, or Gabriel was talking to Muhammad. Where is say that? Yeah. Well, so you're so you're talking about sort of like Jibril as in like he's a he's an independent entity and is he having conversations outside of what Allah has revealed to Muhammad? We would say that that's not what the Quran is. The Quran is specifically Allah revealing to Jibril to Muhammad. That's what's recorded in this book. Now you're saying conversations between Jibril and Muhammad. Those are not recorded in the Quran. That's because that's that's like a correspond. That's then that would be putting Muhammad's words back into the Quran. You see what I'm saying? Okay. No. So so you don't believe that Muhammad was we talking? We do believe it because we have we have from the Sirah. I don't know if you're familiar with the Sirah, but we have this thing where Muhammad was in the cave, for example, right? And he was talking to Jibril, and he. he where, where, are gonna, where are you going to find out this one? The the Sirah. 
It's not, it. it's not in the Hadith? It could be in the Hadith because again... The hadith no, it's not in the Quran. It's on the Quran. Well, I could... I'll, let me show you. Sure, go ahead. Let me show you. No problem. So brother, so let's go to yeah, talk about this one here. Sure. Yeah, so which one is here? So a lot, what does that mean? So, uh, it, the English translation says proclaim but speak Rab Bismi Rabbi So the idea is from this, we believe that this is... So, we have this, uh, this story of... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Jibreel speaking to Muhammad and what ends up happening is Muhammad says that I can't read, I can't read. So this was revealed to him, Ikra this miracle because of the But how, how you know that this is Muhammad was talking to Gabriel? This is a, a no, 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 question. No, no. This is this is Jibreel talking. This is revealed to Muhammad. Uh, yeah, but that's what I say. How are you gonna prove that? There, there is no Jibreel, there is no Muhammad. How are you gonna know that? I mean, so once again, this right here is so the book itself is the what we believe like. What's, what's encased between the covers is revelation from Allah to Jibreel to Muhammad. But that, that's not true. What do you mean? That's how you're going to prove it. I mean, how, that's an understanding from our religion. And, okay, look. But how do you prove anything? That's no, no, there's a lot of things you can prove it. Yes, okay. look, like easy, I'm going to ask you something here. Sure. If you, I, I know you speak, uh, uh, Quran, no, <laughs> I know you speak uh, Quranic Arabic. You understand? I, I'm learning it. Learning it? Okay. I'm learning so, how to speak it, but I can read it. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's why I'm saying that's here. Sure. Uh, so, here you go. So this one here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, if you have a hard time, so that's fine. Yeah, let, let's go to let's go to uh, sixty. You're saying this right here. Yeah, 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 right. Okay. So this is. <laughs> Here you go. This one is easy. So do you remember that? When Moses came to the place of Hanan and the Lord said, Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, show to me that I may look upon you. Allah said, By no means can thou see me, but look upon me now that I love you. And his Lord manifests his glory. So that he was talking to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so this is yeah. To us. yeah, so that was talking to Moses was talking to Allah. Right. That's right? Yes. So something why not you we find find out something like but, he was talking to Muhammad? But remember Musa had, we believe that I believe we call him uh Kalim Allah, I believe. I don't okay. know. Musa has this, has this specific thing that was given to him, which is that he talked directly to yeah. every other messenger other than him had a intercept or a, like a, we would say like a angel like relaying. Yeah, message. yeah. But what I'm saying, it's easy to hear. So Muhammad is the last prophet. Muhammad is the superior everything for it. He's a loved one. Mm -hmm. So why we don't have anything to Muhammad was talking to angel or Allah? I mean. So you're talking specifically about this. Yeah, I'm giving you the reference. I, I I'm just giving you the reference. But but you have to understand. When we're looking at this in particular, uh -huh. this is being revealed to us in the Quran, right? So this is just like this. We have correspondences like this, right? But if you would know, I mean, that's just something like whenever we're trying to, whenever like the Quran's talking about the past, it's giving conversations. Now you could say, is that a revelation or something like that? Uh, you could say like, oh, why is that a revelation? Because these are two people talking. But this is re this is knowledge of we say ilma uh, ulayi, right? Which is I don't know if you're familiar with the term. It's knowledge of the unseen, right? Okay. All this stuff is being revealed. Yeah. Okay. All this stuff is being revealed, mm -hmm. but it's not stuff that he could have ever known because it's it's uh, we say wahi, right? It's okay. Wahi My question is that uh, just simple question sure. here. So why we don't have anything to be uh, Allah and Muhammad was talking to Gabriel? I mean that's like it's just how do I say this? It's not the nature of the it's not the nature. Don't you of believe that if you don't have it, so Muhammad never spoke to Angel? No, I don't see how that follows. Why not? Because you don't have evidence, so No no, because the nature of this revelation it's is something somebody saying that. This is somebody saying that. Sure. So that's okay. I, I will say that this book somebody claiming that this is a book from God. So yeah, how can we trust it? How can you believe unless you don't have evidence? And now if I prove you this Quran is not from God, because even that we go to the that prophecy what you're saying that. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the prophecy now. Sure. So read that prophecy for me, please. The Roman Empire has been defeated. Okay, so uh, land close okay. by. Let's go but to they, mm -hmm. after this defeat of theirs will soon be victorious. Within huh. a few years, with Allah is the decision of the past and the future. On the day the believers will rejoice with the help of Allah, He helps whom He wills and He, he Okay. Is I think that should be enough. So sure. who got defeated? The are you saying who got defeated in yeah, this prophecy? Yeah, that's right. And where is gonna where the and when is that? No, no. Where where is it here? That's uh, what you would call is uh, you. We have external understanding. I'm sorry. That's not in the Quran. 
the when is happened and who got defeated and when is happened so our understanding so prophecy this. prophecy if mm-hmm. i will tell you that uh, america will lose with china mm-hmm. and i never give a date i never give any timing and uh, 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 if I, I drop anything, uh, if you say something, mm-hmm. how are you going to be prophesized? If there's no evidence, there is no date, there's a proof or nothing, time. So how are we going to con- consider the prophecy? That can be a statement, somebody saying that. So you're saying that because... No, no, I'm not saying that. You read and tell me what kind of prophecy you use that. There's nothing, no information is in there. Right, but this is like, how do I say this? It's like, what you're saying is basically because we don't have... The, the complete like because we weren't there ourselves then we don't have the information but imagine for a second I'll explain this to you if we have let, let's say let's say that just so understand what this book is right somewhere someone so Allah reveals to Muhammad he's saying this in front of people the people who this is being revealed to understand the situation completely they understand the this is this is this is a way way back and how are we going to know this is a prophecy and what kind of prophecy is that, brother? Right, but I'm saying that you're speaking from our perspective, but the people this was revealed to knew exactly what this was about. They knew exactly what this was referring to, and that's recorded with us. We have that information. What what recorded, sorry? The stuff, so what this narration, what this, I wouldn't say it's a narration, but how I would say it's like this scenario, this everything, all so that stuff. So you are you are explaining better than Quran, so you're better no, than Allah then. No. Because I'm Quran, cannot, the Quran cannot give explanation, so you are giving a very good explanation, so you are better than Allah. No, it doesn't. I don't even understand how you're coming to that conclusion for several no, reasons. No, because this is a prophecy, all right? Yes. What kind of prophecy? Do you understand? Is that? I would never have made this without an external understanding of this tradition. I'm not. I'm not pointing to this, thinking, "Oh, this is a prophecy." I didn't understand. This you the one I, I asked you earlier. Yes. If, if Muhammad did a prophecy. But what I'm saying is that came from my understanding of the surrounding situation. If I didn't know that, I wouldn't just read this and think, "Oh, that's a prophecy." Of this. I need to know. Oh, this is talking about the Persian Empire against the Roman Empire and all this stuff. That all comes from the tradition. I trust the tradition. It's not just the Quran is part of the tradition, but you can't say, "Oh, the Quran is has every single thing," because that's not how we understand it at all. Okay. Let let me if, if I tell you that you yes. come to me and you pay for me and you you, uh, you believe me I'm a prophet okay mm-hmm. I'm a prophet okay? okay I'm a prophet right now I'm a Tony prophet okay mm-hmm. so I'm saying that you're gonna die okay mm-hmm. when? so see, exactly when sure if there's no when all we all we're gonna die that's mm-hmm. not prophecy I'm just giving a statement because everybody gonna die this on what. You gonna die. don't you want you're not gonna die I one could day? be the first one who does it what is that based on no I said you're gonna die I understand but yeah. what I'm saying is you're basing that off of the fact that everyone's died in the past that's right, right? but that that's doesn't necessarily have to be the case why not why would it it's not gonna you're happen basing it on, but you understand you're yeah, basing but that, that's off what, of, no I'm when I when I ask you when I ask you, you can't when, when I ask you when I, I told you that yes. was my mock of what that was my uh, the point uh-huh. when I ask you you're gonna die right away you say when yeah right same thing I told you when and where is happened and who got defeated Allah did not know it's like but see with all due respect if you understand that I pointed this prophecy not based off the wording of this I based off of the tradition I know the tradition I know what this so is I based on a tradition to be everybody dies it okay I say the same thing yeah, but that's that not called the, the prophecy but that's that does not have to be the case that's, what I'm saying. that's not it, the prophecy you, you'd brother be, you'd be how you would say it. you'd be within your right to say Oh, this is going to happen because there's always a po- listen. Let's let's not kill ourselves. There's always a possibility someone out there will be the first one who lives forever. You understand that, right? It's Nobody's just, gonna live forever, boss. Based on what? Based on what we see in because history. Because of what you see. Yeah. But what you see is not necessarily always. No, that is because the Bible says. Bible says, "I give you 120." Okay, so what's the what's the source in the Bible? The Bi- Bible is a source of the God of the Holy Spirit. Have done 40. Oh, the Quran is but the source from the Allah. And that's no, that's not a. Li- this is a lie. No, All no, this. No, you see that you're just making an no, assertion. No, so I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the Bible. I'll give you the Bible and. Show me something which is not uh, authentic just like that. Because you saying this is a prophecy. Yeah, sure. I'll give you something. Sure. So do you believe that Jesus is, uh, this is at the New Testament in it? Yeah. Let me look up Matthew. Sure. Matthew. Jesus is not. Yeah. yeah, but you know, first if we left, so first stay here. So then we're going to be here. So, yeah, no, no, but yeah. I want to show you something. Yeah, yeah, we, will, we, will, we, will, we, will, we will, we will, we will stay there. So okay. just we'll have to stay. To yeah, we'll come, come back. the word of God, yeah. right? Okay, no, 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 no. Remember that here, there are two different stuff, okay? Sure. This is the word of God sure. that somebody written, okay? But this one, the word making, of God. We're both making no, 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 no. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. It's a different way. This is a Quran and the Bible is a different way. Mm-hmm. That's not the same way to work, okay? But anyway, so show me here first 
So if you if you say that okay that's wrong, then we will move up. Then I'll go to the Bible. First, you agree with that? So I just want to make sure I, I'm going to pull it up and then I'll show it to sure. you. Sure. I'm not going to talk about it. What are you talking about? I will I will open it for yeah, you. Yeah, John, 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 Jesus did not know the hour. Okay, that's okay. what you're talking about. Yeah, right. but that's okay. We know no that. Idea. Yeah. So, no, no. You believe that Jesus is God. Though, yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Let's go first here. Okay. Jesus. We know that Jesus is God. I can prove you from the Quran. Okay. Even I'm going to prove you the Quran because you do. Do you believe the God? This is the word of God. No. So why I'm going to talk about it? Because you do. Uh, yeah, but I'm not. I'm gonna show you from your Quran, Jesus, Son of God. Show me. Okay. Yeah. No. Let's go to here first. Okay. Well, I want to see where Jesus. No. Is no. Son no. Of God. Yeah. Yeah. We'll. We'll. We'll go from okay. there. But here, so. He, this Allah did not know everything. Like just like a Jesus did not know the hour, so this is the Allah doesn't know that things. See, but, I mean, but what just you mean? because you're not saying explicitly but, but, doesn't mean it's not known, right? Sorry? See, but you just not, because it's not said explicitly doesn't mean it's not known. But you are he was pulling you that Jesus does not know the hour. Yes. Yeah, but he's not a God. But you are no, saying no, that you no, no, no. Jesus is God, so you believe Allah is this Allah comes from yes. us. So why this Allah does not know the time and when it's gonna be happen? Just because he knows it doesn't just like it says the Father knows here, no. but Jesus does not know, right? Okay, okay, okay. So here so, he may know, but he didn't reveal it to you. So, so see now now you're changing. See that? How? <laughs> see how? I'm telling you here, Allah did not know that thing. Okay. He does not know the time. He does not know the hour. Just you go. Something's not said. No, 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 no. Doesn't so mean he, he didn't know. say. That, okay, okay, okay. That's exactly so. What what we saying that he's when he's different, saying that. Very different. Right? Oh, very really different because, because it's. Because why is the difference? Brother, tell brother, me, please, tell please, me what's the difference. Let me so, read it to you. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's go. I need to, let's I need to show you. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, brother, I know. I know what no, he's. We know what no, we know that. We know. We know. Father knows, but it doesn't say. No, 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 no. We gonna. We we gonna. We gonna make you the answer for that. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. You gonna. You Zakir Naik and Sheikh Uthman. Sheikh Uthman does not know. Sheikh Uthman. I don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you come to the end? Yeah. So for this one, then we go from there. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. So Allah did not know the time. No, that doesn't follow. He didn't say that. I'm he sorry. Didn't say the time. He didn't say that. He didn't he say didn't that. He's just telling you who defeated and when it happened. So he, he said within a few years, so technically speaking. Okay, okay, few years. Okay, let's go. Few years. So when we started sure. and when we ended. So few years. What is gonna be? What the few years gonna be? Few years from when it happened. Which so when? What? what the, so then, when he said that, where's it happened? When? Tell me when time is there. When time is there? Okay. So when when is gonna reveal? I'm sorry. When it was revealed. So that you're talking about the when revealed the moment time? Yes. So on that so time, so when this happened, when this event happened and it was revealed or whatever, and after a few years, then this happened, right? A few years, that nothing Three happened. Three to nine years. That's, That's nothing what it says. happened. When it happened? Three to nine years. So no, no, well, 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 no, no. Just just check that when this file when it happened. That's a good thing. When it happened, so you're gonna be find out. Sure. Yeah. So Muhammad time in two or three years. Yes. Allah, Allah did not know the hours was. Hold on. Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, Sir room. Sir room. And what exactly do you want me to say? Say, few years. Few when years. when was it happen? Or uh, when the, you know the time? So we know that few years. By the way, he, do you, he knows Muzamma yeah, from Fawarchi. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Right, that is ready. Yeah, sure, okay. He knows Muzamma from Fawarchi. Yeah. What was your name? Tony. Tony. Yeah. He said Tony. Ahad. Yeah. Ahad. Okay. Do yeah. When you go to Muzamma. Oh, sorry. So, so I was going to say which biryani do you prefer because he says that. I mean, Muzamma that should be a good biryani, but I think. He's talking about. Uh, I like both of them. Oh, really? Both of okay. them actually. No. Sir, room. Uh, so what exactly Second. am I searching? Searching of when that that the defeated got defeated. When the Roman got defeated. Roman got defeated. Yes. Okay. Six fifteen A.D. Six fifteen. Okay. Yeah, that's a G of Muhammad birth. We Muhammad just, time. Sure. <laughs> yes. So that was. I mean, 615 is what it's saying. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Like, do you understand? Right. So there's another thing like you should know. Is like, no. When it comes to dating. And who, who got defeated? 615, so, Muhammad is still alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Muhammad is still alive. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, he died 632. 632, yeah. 632, Romans got defeated. Sorry. The Persians got defeated. This so where's the, the Persian? Where's the Persian? Where, where's the Persian got okay, defeated? Like I said, I know about this problem. Allah did not know, brother. I can tell you that. Simple. Okay, let's go to to move on to this one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you that. Okay, okay so uh, I like yeah, yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna show you that. Okay. All right. I can tell you something about this that Zakir Naik doesn't know, Sheikh Usman doesn't know, but you'll find out. Okay, so tell, tell me that. Tell no, me. No, that. So, so what? Do you, so what is this saying? I want to ask you. Thirteen thirty-two. What is this? Yeah, saying? Really? Okay. Also, also Matthew twenty-four thirty-six. Yeah, Matthew. Matthew we go Matthew twenty-four. Okay. So that's both the of them are the same thing. No, no, no. Right? That's okay. Matthew. We're gonna go to Matthew 24, 24. Yeah, I know that's a. Uh, so same we go. Thing it's the same thing. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let's go. Let's go, man. We're gonna give you the answer. You never heard the answer from anybody. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
I studied this quite extensively. Sure, where are we good? Inshallah, you become Muslim, man. I can't wait to. Uh, how am I a Muslim man? You don't know Muhammad the Prophet. Muhammad is not even Prophet. Yeah, you believe. Believing is nothing going to do any good. Hindu believe that. the millions of yeah. God. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Read, brother. Yeah. Is, do you have a time to understand that? Go ahead. Do you have a time. Do you it's have a time? To, I mean, I we're here. We're here. Okay. So, we so we, if you want to come on the shed, that's okay. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Sure. So read that one from here, from the beginning. We're going to context. Let's see. Yeah. Then Jesus. So I have to read all the way. Yeah. To that's right. That's right. That's why you're going to read. Thirty-six. Yeah. Twenty-four. Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came and showed him the building of the temple. And Jesus says to him, Do you not see all these things? Assuredly, I say to you, not yeah. one stone shall be left here un upon another. That shall not be thrown down. The signs of the times and the end times of the age. Now as he sat on the Mount of the Olives, the disciples came to him privately and saying, Tell us when these things will be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of okay. the end of the age. So here, what he's saying that what the sign of your coming. Mm -hmm. What he's talking about? Your coming. Your coming. Okay, now Jesus go. Jesus' second coming. Yeah, second coming. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying, I am I am the Christ and will deceive many. Okay, and here. He already saying that. Mm -hmm. Do not be deceived. No, so many people going to come to you in my name and they're going to try to deceive you. Just point it to note it, okay? Keep going it. And you will see, and you will hear of the wars and the rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. See that you are not troubled for all these things yes. that come to pass. All right. But to the end, but the end is not yet. Yes. For nations will rise against the nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be. What are you saying? That end is not there yet. Okay. Sure. So, yeah. Keep reading it. And there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulations and kill you. You will be hated by all nations. This is a nations. prophecy going on. Okay. And then many will be. Uh, um, when many will be offended when. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many, and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved, and this gospel of kingdom will be preached in all worlds as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. Great tribulation. Can you say that? What is it? The end, end will, will come. Okay. Okay. We already told the time. Mm -hmm. Now you got it? He gave. He gave signs. Signs. That's he did not it. give the hour. Though. He did not give the signs. Look again. Said, again. All right. Look at that. Gave signs. Okay. You look, know that, right? What? Prophets give signs. Jesus. Okay. He was saying. He was prophesying it. Your prophecy. Here. Show me your prophecy. What's the prophecy here? This was. Okay. Again. This your was a Allah. prophecy. This was a prophecy given to the people at the time. They were the ones who this was most relevant. That's exactly like, happening over there, brother. Look at here. Okay, but let's okay. keep reading. Yeah, let's reading. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken uh, by Daniel the prophet standing in the middle places, and whoever reads, let him understand. Okay, this is in this is in parentheses. Maybe this is not in yeah, original. Just, just, yeah, just, yeah. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those who in the house step not go down to take anything out of this house. And let him who is in the field not go back to his clothes. But woe to those who are pre who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may be, may not be in the winter or to the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulations, such as such has not been since since the beginning of the world un until this time. No, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, for those days will be shortened. Then if anyone will say to you, to say, say to you, look, here is the Christ, or there do not believe it. For the false Christ and the false prophets will rise and show great signs and yeah, wonders, to, wonders to deceive. The false prophets Okay. If possible, day, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. Therefore, mm, I told you beforehand. If they say to you, "Look, yeah. he is in the desert. Do yeah. not go out. Or yeah. Look, he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it." For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will coming of the son of man be. For wherever the carcass is, yes. there the there the eagles will be gathered together. Come yes. of the son of man. Yeah, Immediately yes. after the tribulations of those days, the yeah. sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Mm -hmm. The stars will fall from the heavens, from heaven, and the power of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the son of man will appear in heaven, and then all the tri tribes of the earth will be will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with the power of the Lord. By the way, that's, uh, I'll talk about that later. Sure. And he will send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. Now, learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branches, when its branch has already become tender and put forth leaves, you know the summer is, summer is near. Mm. So you also... So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. Mm -hmm. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away until all these things take place. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that needs to be yeah, done. Well, like, yeah. Heaven and earth will not pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Yeah. Now, my words, that's his words. 
Sure. Yeah. But of that day yes. and hour, no one knows, no one not even the angels of heaven. Heaven. Not the sun. But not, huh? Actually, this one doesn't say Yeah, it does not say that. Okay. What is that about? Why does it not do that? Why does it not say that the sun over here? No, that sign for the meaning of that. That's a good meaning. Okay. It's a but. My yeah, father but knows. It. My father. Okay. okay, but it should yeah. say nor the son. Yeah, that's father. what I'm saying. Why Why okay, that's why. That's why I'm gonna. Okay, so no, 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 no. It's not. Okay, okay. I've never it's the same thing. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So gospel is like a three or four people written down the same. Okay. I'm so like I said. Okay, okay. Let me let me tell you that. Okay. Sure. Again, like a four people. We have four people here. Okay. We walking yeah. to the Balboa Park right now. Okay. Yes. And everybody writing their own way. Okay. Understand. Somebody saying okay people. Somebody saying dog. Somebody saying here. But that does not mean that they are lying. They are telling whatever the experience they know or they went through. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's the gospel is just like that. It's, uh, uh, it's like that, right? what? The gospels are like that, right? Gospel that written by the four different gospels is like that because in Matthew, Luke, Mark, and John they wrote down their own story. Why? Because while there was Jesus, okay, with them, Jesus, okay. So that's why there's no contradiction. But even though wrote down the different timing and different uh, 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 languages, but mm -hmm. still they are all same. It's not so here. What what is going on here? Jesus already explained everything. He when is gonna be happen? Mm -hmm. Sign, okay. Now the time. Mm -hmm. See God, it's the God is worked like a through the Jewish way. The Jewish is a, like a when the wedding it's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, I heard yeah. this. One. Yeah, that's fine. You heard that, okay? Yes. Okay, like I, I can say that, okay. Yes. I, I'm gonna give you the other one, okay? I'm gonna ask that's you, right. I'm gonna ask sure, you sure, ask me that. Yeah. What's the source of the Jewish wedding? The source? There's yes, a lot of it's not in the Bible. Not in the, so the source of that because Jesus, but the, you're sold a scripture, right? You're a, a Protestant, right? Yes. So, well, so where's the a custom. Jewish wedding okay. custom okay. in the Bible? No, we don't need to have it. But, that's then, but see, remember. Okay, let me let me ask you. Okay, let me. Oh, yes, yes, to, uh, yes. You have to go to no, because see, so why are you? No, going no, no, to no, 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 no. Okay, I like I told you, Quran, 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 you're not supposed to go hadith because the Quran say that. that that's no, no, Quran. Okay, then hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Yes. I say Quran claim that do not go to the hadith. Do not go. No, no, we're gonna go that. Okay. Sure. But Bible does not claim that. Okay, you don't have to go to other source. That's a different. That's what I'm saying. Bible and Quran is a different strategy, different way to that. Because see, we know that 40 different authors wrote down the Quran, Bible, but we don't know who, who wrote the Quran. But we so, don't even know. But here's the thing: so, see, we don't so, know no. the identity of John. We don't know the. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. sure. Okay, so uh, we know that. Yeah, are, yeah, you know, we know that. Okay, Surah Muhammad. This Surah so, Maryam. Who wrote down Surah Maryam? Same scribes. I'm sorry. Scribes. Same scribes. Which one is it? Name. Give me a name. I mean. I mean, I mean now, I know, now I know I'm giving you, I'm giving you the John, Matthew. I'm giving you a name, but okay. you say, oh, we don't know that. So, but tell me who wrote Surah Muhammad. I mean, it's not like it was down I'm sorry? to one scribe. No, no, no. We believe I, that there was you something. Are, I, I, I told you, Luke scribes. wrote the Luke, Matthew wrote the Matthew. But who are but these people? See, okay, now I giving you a name. Okay, they are the disciple of Jesus Christ. They were. That's the, the belief of something. No, they were in the Bible. The saying that was walking with Jesus. But anyway, okay. who wrote Surah Muhammad? I mean, probably the same person. Who wrote I'm sorry. That. The scribes wrote it down? Which? Give me the name. I don't care about the last name. I, I don't I mean, but you see, okay, so, but here's the thing. If you're asking me who wrote down the Quran, we know no, that. No, I didn't ask you who wrote the Quran. Or that, I said who wrote Muhammad, yeah. Right? Or Muhammad. Muhammad wrote down? Or did you say Maryam or Muhammad? Muhammad. So okay, 47. Well, from our understanding, I'm just giving you from no, our no, understanding. I, understand. I, did not give, I did not give my understanding. Sure. I, the Bible give a name to us. So who wrote Surah Muhammad? I mean, the scribes. Who? I'm asking you to give me the name. I don't care about the last name. I don't care about the, you know, at well, least. If, okay, so let me explain why this is complicated. Because Compli yeah, the Quran no, 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 is a complicated, boss. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah. We know that there were Do you know from where? From the Hadith, from our tradition. Okay, so show me from Hadith. I, I don't care about this. Show me who wrote the Surah Muhammad. You're saying, who wrote Surah Muhammad in Yes, particular? I told you that to John. So See, you said, okay, who's the John, okay? I give you a name, no, 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 but at least. Be, so just so you know, I listen, I've studied this. I know that. What do you study? I've studied uh, composition of the Bible. I've studied. Did uh, you study Quran, comes Of course. I okay, know. so who wrote that? So give me the name no, of Muhammad. No, no, but see what I'm saying. No, is no, no. Do you, you do not know about your Quran, and you study your no, 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 Quran. But, but you're saying you have to understand. Okay. If you're saying that the scribes wrote. So okay, again, we're not so, saying. Okay, give me a one name of the scriber, uh, the who wrote the Quran. Uh, uh, I believe it's Zaid ibn Thabit. Z he was. He, he was a very uh, yeah, famous. Uh, yeah, he, he was. A, okay, show me that where he said that he wrote the Quran. He was a collecting. Yeah, he was collecting it. He, he was also a scribe though. Uh, he was a scribe, but he yes. never said that he, he was a collector most of but the see, time. But yeah. see why this is a complicated question because you're saying... Because we do not... We have multiple scribes who wrote down the whole thing. I don't care, man, you have a hundred, but give yes. me a one right, so who wrote Surah Muhammad? But, but do you see, what I'm saying is he could have wrote the whole, he could have wrote down the entire Quran. So that one person wrote down the Quran? We believe that he was a scribe that lived 
with the prop around the no, area. So believe, I don't want to believe, okay? No, I no, want no, you to I'm have some evidence, boss. When you're talking about okay, the Quran, how many millions of people are... Uh, I, look, I told you, John, I don't care about that. I, give me a one name. I mean, I gave you one name. What? The Hud Surah Muhammad? Show me from there. Okay, so are you saying that there's different scribes who wrote different surahs? I don't know. I'm asking. Look, well, we I'm have a that's not our tradition, though. What I'm saying is that we believe that the scribes, like, it's to us, we don't care about who the scribes were. These people, we believe, are the author, like, we believe that the authors were given their own personal, like, uh, experience, or their own experiences, right? Look at so that. that's why the. You, that's why are, the you are talking about the Bible. Yes. You have no idea about your uh, Quran. I, but I'm giving. I'm telling you. Well, you know how you're saying this is different from this. What I'm saying is it's different because to us, it's like yes, the scribes were people who were trustworthy. Give me the name. I know the scribe. Give me. Show 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 me. When you say you study for that, what? What source is that? Give me, yes, show me the source. I, I want to go source. I don't want to Google but it. You, but see, if I gave you the source, would you trust the source? Of course, I will see so Sunnah.com or something. Give me the reference. Okay, you're familiar with yeah. that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, that's should be Sunnah.com, but I need a reference that somebody wrote down the, the so Ayah of Muhammad. Counts as a reference to you. I'm sorry, give me Surah Muhammad who wrote down Surah Muhammad. So would Tafsir count as a reference to you? No, Tafsir has the people that wrote down. Tafsir came but so the, way out of the, after that. On, so. Depends on the mufassar. Some mufassars are gonna are going to. Uh, well, I'm just asking simple name. I don't care about even. Uh, they have to have a relationship with that. Okay, but you understand. I can give you like a series of names. It's like I could tell you. Give okay, me a what series of names which say that okay, it's, uh, they wrote down properly surah, surah Bakra, surah um, uh, you know uh, Insa, surah Muhammad, surah Maryam. Give me one but, person. But to, okay, I, I want to make a distinction here. The reason why you know the name John is because John is relaying is supposedly relaying his experiences. You know, there's a line in John. I'll tell you something interesting. If you go to the end of it, or somewhere in the end, it says, somewhere in the in John, it says, "We know that his story is true." I thought John was the one who's writing it. So who's the we and okay, who's the Okay, look at it. Yeah. Okay. Do you see what I'm let, saying? Let me so ask we you. Don't even let, yeah, yeah, yeah. John you, was the one see, who wrote no, no, no. Okay. See, if you're gonna go to this, we we have uh, so many uh, manuscripts for the Bible. Okay. We I do understand. have it. Okay. We have nothing. No problem. But my question is here. You are failed to give me a name for <laughs> one. Just give me one. one. Yeah. They they even thought it. Bro, give me the source, what you talking, just give me the internet, you know? I can't find it. The okay, but anyway, true. so this one, you cannot even prove who's written by, and that's why we have a question to everybody, mm -hmm. who wrote the Quran, there's nobody, okay, then Zaid, he was a collector, and he wrote some uh, information that was about his, that, that, that was his Muhammad, later. Well, yeah, yes. no, it was in Muhammad time, but a lot of Quran, they were lost, yes. and they don't have it, so somebody collected from different, different people, so we don't know who wrote on the very uh, beginning Quran, so anyway, so Quran has no idea where Quran come from, and uh, bro, you want to say something? Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So um, again, I'm telling you, you cannot even prove that the Muhammad never spoke to Allah. Okay. Muhammad never spoke to angel, and mm -hmm. the revolution never. We don't know where the revolution come from. That's a false statement. Then, completely. Then, then they add this too. Sure. sure. Here, you said that the Quran was written first, huh? And then do Abu Bakr during Abu Bakr time again in the Khazwal Bad, happened Bada something, happen, yeah. and then they said, oh. Those who are used to uh, memorize Quran, if they are dying right now, we have to collect the Quran. Question is here, yes. they say that to confirm something that you bring it, you have to be, you have two, 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 two people. With one yeah. exception. Okay, see here. Yes. And at the same time, you have a people that who are and it's, uh, a written of uh, writers of Muhammad there, mm -hmm. they're still alive. Mm -hmm. So people are coming with the newspaper like this. Mm -hmm. This is what I heard Muhammad saying that. It was also on. So the other way, let me finish it, yeah. See here? Why I do have to have a two people to testify or to confirm that while you have four people who as a writer of that and inspired there yeah. and what they wrote? They were there. The one you were just saying. They were Sorry, there. Sorry, could you repeat? I, I missed the okay. last part of your story. When they were collecting the Quran. Sure. Yes. The four people, Ibn Masood and other people, they were there. I, I think so, yeah. I think That's I think right. Were, yeah, they were there. Yeah. Even the one we there's, just, there's you, the one that you just mentioned, Adan, is you saying that he was the one who wrote the Quran. What is Zed. that? Zed. Zed. That was the his brother's system. That was the he was the yeah. 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 I think there is a debate on whether he was alive at the time. But see here. So when no. people were coming, they were saying this is what Muhammad said. Why yes. they they ask those people to confirm that with the two people to testify <laughs> that is right? Yeah. Why they were still there? Oh, because are you assuming that they were all hafizes? 
Of course they, 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 they don't have what they don't even? No, no, no. They were, they were dictated. They were not, just because you dictated doesn't mean you're a hafiz. Because remember, I see, I'm pretty sure I, I'm speaking okay. off the top of my head here. But I, I think they were hafizes. But I can't say. But yeah, let, yes. me, let me put it like this much. Yes. It's not about they were hafiz or not. What's kind of what they wrote? Yes. You said that they, they already wrote that. They already wrote the Quran from Muhammad. The Quran was well, there. They were there. They was there. there. And uh, the Quran they, 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 yeah. they were there. What they wrote, they were oh, there. Oh, so you're saying, okay, I see what you're saying. So you're saying that, where did that go? Right? Uh-huh. So where did that writing go? Yeah. So there's several things that you want to understand. It was not a, what you call codex. For example, a codex is like what you say, like a, a mm. book that has parchment that's bound, right? Mm. It was, we say that it was written on... Uh, papyri, it was written on bones. You know, you probably remember. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when they were collating everything, mm. they had to bring all these sources together. They had, now, of course, they, there was a memorization component to it. But remember, people can forget it. That happens, right? So they had they had a textual witness or something like that, right? So in particular, no, no, see, no, no. <laughs> see, that's you're saying that doesn't match with Hadith. Okay, Hadith say that they are trying to bring the people and collecting the stuff, okay? Yeah. Because the people, they're dying. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, why are the people, they're dying? So, you know, this because is... Because they were about dying in the war. Yeah, know? that's that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. So, yeah. they have to, you know, so... Yeah. But, you know, you don't have the even original Quran right, right um, now. You don't have original Quran. I'm giving you $5,000 if you're going to give me the Uthmani copy of Uthmani Quran. You don't um, have it. So, this is all... I'll be real with you. This one, in, this topic in particular, is not something I've studied very well, right. but for several reasons. Let me explain. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I know a lot about this, yeah. but there is an aspect to this that I'm still trying to learn myself, because yes, I'll be, uh, I, I will ad- agree with you, so I'll actually say something you might not even have brought up yourself. In the narrative, so Abu Bakr collects the Quran, he collates it or whatever, right? Okay. Then, so we have this, we have the codex. The codex was then given to Umar, like it, it goes down to Umar radiallahu anhu, who gives it to his daughter Hafsa at some point. That's that, what they call Hafsa Quran. But where is that? So the Hafsa Quran was used to uh, rewrite an Uthmanic codex, which became what we call the uh, ancestor text of of the various like you know whatever. So Beautiful. what I personally I'm trying to study, and what I see, so you have obviously these are some of the manuscripts, and what I'm not I'm personally trying to learn is obviously if you see in these manuscripts they're missing dotting, right? So you can't so you call this like a skeletal text or continental text text, but you cannot just bare bones read this. You have to have the uh, the tradition, right? You have to know, you have to, so there's some words here that you could say, oh, this is a yah, this is an ah. You wouldn't necessarily know that unless you have the tradition. So what I'm personally curious about and what I don't know is, was the Uthmanic Quran, like, in what in what way was it readable? What, what, uh, what pre, like, prerequisites did you need to read it, right? And that's, I'm just telling you, that's that's a personal, that's a connect, that's a question that I'm trying to learn to, right? So, you know, if, you, if you're like, oh, well, this is confusing, this and that, I can give you a lot of information on it, but I cannot give you all of the information. But brother, what, what you, that's what I'm saying, we have a two different Qurans, we have a 34 Qurans. Mm-hmm. That's what the reason is, because so, there are the citation okay. people, they call it recitation, but there is an error and contradiction in there, no, because no, 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 you don't have an original no, no. one. So here's the problem, right? Sure. And I will, I will uh, agree with you on something that it looks like, oh, these are different versions of the Quran, but now here's, here's where it gets complicated. Right, so you've read the hadith, of course. Right, there's a hadith in particular, which again, the lay Muslim is not familiar with this because just you know, they're not they, they have their reason or whatever, it's not necessarily communicated for whatever reason, they don't know this. So, the lay Muslim is unaware that we know from the very beginning the Quran is revealed in what's called seven ahram. Right, now you're going to say, Oh, well, you're conflating the ahram with the kirat. Now, that's where the question becomes, We don't know, and neither do you because there's some information missing. There are what we say is. The Ahruf and the Kirat, there could be a connect, or we believe there is a connection. The question is, how is the connection? The question is not, oh, the Quran is reveal, revealed in one particular way. If you are familiar with the, with the tradition, you know that's never been the case. That's never been the case because the Quran was revealed in what you say, seven Ahruf, right? Now you're going to say, oh, but you're conflating the Ahruf and the Kirat. The problem is, we don't know what the conflation is. We don't know the connection. So if you're going to say, that's not Ahruf, it's not the Kirat, you actually don't know that. In the same way, I don't know how the two are related to each other. That's what I'm saying is, I've studied this topic extremely extensively. I've seen how apologists have I've dealt with it. With all due respect, I have to say this, like Christian apologists kind of like prey on the lack of knowledge of the average Muslim. But when you look at it, when you actually look into it, they're kind of concealing something very important, which is that the actual Islamic tradition, which is from the Hadith, right? The Hadith talk about this. Now, the in, 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 sorry, go ahead. No, let him finish it. That, yeah, yeah, yeah let him finish it. So, yeah, what I'm just trying to say is... You're not going I, anywhere, but I... No, 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 What that's I'm saying fine. is, I, I know how this conversation goes because I've studied this very very extensively. Of course, as a Muslim, I need to know this. What is an Ahruf? What's a Kirat? And I'm telling you right now, if you're going to say the Ahruf or not the Kirat, I'm going to say to you, 
You don't know that. In the same way that I don't know that the, the, the connection is exactly the same. But what we do know is the Quran was revealed in Semen Ahmur from our understanding. So I'm according, sorry? So according to... Where, where, where is say that there was in Ahmur? Was that? Where is say that it was in Semen Ahmur? Do you want me to give you the hadith of reference? Hadith? No, no, t- show me from the Quran. Where do you have to Again, go to the hadith? Again, tradition is complete. Oh, where well, does it say that you have to go to the hadith? Okay, but I have to ask you, where does it say that do not go to the hadith? No, no, but that's my question. Okay, so I'm going to gonna 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 show, gonna, gonna show I you. Give, I'm giving you... Sure. Uh, so I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you the reason mm-hmm. to not to go to the had, uh, to hadith. Yeah, but you said that it explicitly says that. No, no, that's what I'm saying. My word was this. I want to say that. Where say that uh, go to the hadith? Where it says in the Quran, okay, that's well, why. It not saying that explicitly is not the same thing as telling you explicitly. Don't sure. So I will say, I will okay. say with you. And I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the hadith, mm-hmm. which is saying that Muhammad himself is said that do not go take anything else from uh, Quran or anything from me or anywhere else. Hadith saying I that. understand, but remember that was a recorded tradition. That was in the beginning, so we have that recorded, and then he changed it. What, what, because in the beginning there, no, was so a con- there was a fear that oh okay there might be a conflation between hadith and Quran when that when that conflation was uh, when I'm that sorry hadith wrote down after 200 I understand, years I understand but what you're talking about fair point fair point yeah. right I agree with you it was written down later yeah. but that does not preclude that there was an oral tradition because do you understand the assertion where, is the oral, where did oral tradition come from it comes from practice I'm like, sorry like okay so uh, just so you know we pray five times a day obviously actually you know what's funny I have to pray also so where you say that pray, pray five times in, in the doesn't Quran? say that. I mean, it says it in what we would say is like, it's not fully explicated in the Quran, right? But it does say pray at the both ends of the day. It, it's That one's like, I don't remember off the top of my head, but what I'm saying is, it, it's there, but it's not like, oh, Asr Maghrib. There is no time. brother, there's nothing like in the Quran that's five the, times. That's but you know what? That's tradition comes from. We say what? That. We, okay, so so I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna if you don't mind. Like I just want you to understand something. <laughs> we wanna say something. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. We're gonna go back to what we were talking about uh, when they were collecting the Quran here, mm-hmm. because we said that the four writers of the Al-Wahi or in, in inspiration, yeah. they were there, and now they were asking people to have whatever you have. You heard it from Muhammad saying that, bring it, but you have to have two witnesses. witnesses sure. Okay. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Why there is a need of two witnesses if these four writers, they were there? That question one. Because they are one who wrote the Quran. I understand, but you, okay, go ahead. I'm not finished. Go ahead. If you're saying that they may not remember, mm-hmm. then how you can tell me about two witnesses they can remember even what Muhammad told these people to accept that they were remembering what they, what they were saying really? Yeah, so I'll give you an example on this. I'll try. I think I understand what you're saying. It's a fair point, right? But there's something that you're kind of forgetting which is that you're assuming that these people were present for every single revelation of the verse right that's not that's necessarily why, that the case. the one who wrote the quran the, the, the whole quran that what but i know were they there it? for every single revelation of verse that every they verse heard it anyway okay. at the four, that yeah. was, okay go they, ahead. they would they would try to say that okay this is a these i pull it out say bukhari 38010 they said the collected by these people they said zen is a part of it they are not written by them all no. the yeah, there is all the, the Zaid yeah. was a scribe. You believe that? Zaid yeah, was he was a scribe because he, when he was Muhammad was there, yes. so he was writing something whenever Muhammad told him. Yeah, yeah but he's mm-hmm. not writing the Quran. He was Muhammad was saying something that can be considered hadith. It's not the Quran. Not necessarily. Okay, but anyway, that's okay. I'm not. Sorry. But this is all four people are collecting that. It's not saying that there was a writer. There is none name man is mentioned in the Quran who wrote the Quran. But anyway, go ahead. No, no, I was what, what, what you were saying. Yeah, about so, yeah, Again, so this is like, this is something that, uh, I, I'll put it like this. I've studied this more than the average Muslim, but I still have gaps in my knowledge on this, right? So when you're making references to, oh, this, this, and this, and that, and that I have to go back to the references. I sure. can't just say like, oh, this, and this. That's I can tell you enough, what yeah. I know. I can tell you what I know. But again, you have to understand, everyone who studied this topic in the Islamic world, there is still, there's a, what we say is like a, there's a mystery as to, what exactly composed the Ahu and what exact and how exactly the Kira cor- correspond to the Ahu, right? Because I can't tell you with def- or I can't tell you how did you are not talking about Ahu. You are the one who brought Ahu. No, 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 because about something I, know about I know where this right. I know where the conversation goes. I know where the conversation goes. Because if I said, uh, Oh, the the Quran was real in seven Ahu, you would say, Okay, but what does seven Ahu for you? Yeah. Tell me what the but that's what I'm trying to say. Di- we don't know. We we know that what there was the, what the, uh, so that means the no, Quran no, no. is missing then? No, 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 not necessarily. Because again, we don't know what the author uh, If you do not know, that means they're missing. No, because that means that I do know what it means. I'm saying I don't know. It's said, no. I'm saying, no, 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 I understand what you're saying. You're saying that, oh, there's a part of the Quran that's missing because the Ahruf are, are necessarily something that's external to what we have. We don't know that. 
So that, but okay. No, no, I'm I, saying, I don't know. I'm saying right. that it's it's a little more complicated than what you're saying. It's like I understand, like okay, for definitive purposes, like oh, you know, like this is true, this is that, that's true. What I'm saying is, if you study this topic, everyone has there's it's like they boil this down to forty opinions or something like that as to what exactly the ahrut are. We believe, generally speaking, that the kirat contain the ahrut. Do we believe that all of the ahrut are contained in the kirat? We don't know that. Okay. No, this is this is the way behind we're talking about. We're talking the very basic. We're <laughs> saying that Muhammad is not a prophet. Muhammad never spoke to you. Believe Muhammad talked to angel. You cannot even prove it. But how do you? But see, this is the problem: is that if I point to something that's proved, like I, it's just one of those things where it's like I can point to it. I can feel very confidently. I can tell you my life experiences, this and that. At the end of the day, you can. You know, it's interesting is that there's this there's this, I, this uh, verse in the in the Bible that says something like. People were asking for signs from Jesus, right? And what did he do? Jesus signs? Never. No, no, no. They asked him. They asked him to perform miracles or something like that. And miracle? No, no, no. There's nothing like that. Jesus. Jesus was doing miracle, man. What you no, talking no, no, about? But remember, there's like <laughs> there's this this verse where he's like someone says something like, oh, uh, show oh, a sign so, or something. Like no, that. he and said then, that I'm not gonna give you a sign. John, I was a sign. Okay, that was yeah. uh, John. No, 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 but he says yeah. that. He calls it like this is an adulterous generation or something like that. The yeah, same thing, same yeah, thing. Thing, the same thing, thing like, I mentioned that, but that has nothing to do that. Jesus no, no, no. was doing miracles, he did everything. But do you but, see that? But do you understand the point that he's trying to make is that just because you're even showing miracles, you can't no, even deny no, the miracles of people. No, 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 but boss, he's just uh, going, okay, let me show Jesus a God from, a son of God from the Quran. Okay, Please that's what you want to know. I know you just are uh, going here and there, which is not going to take you anywhere. Uh, unless uh, Dang has some questions, so I'll go for <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's go to, you see, when I'm talking to here Muslim people, I have so much love for Muslim people. Okay. That's why I'm here. Okay, look, I'm a businessman. Muzammil knows that. Okay, ask for Muhammad what what I do. I don't do for this for living. Okay, yeah. I just for sake of love for Muslim people, okay. because I don't want to go to the hell. Because see that that's only Jesus said, I am the way. There is no other way. He's a very straightforward. It's a one way. But you know that's why there are deception going on for the different different gods. And God is telling us to not to do that because see I am the only one way. But you know what? Uh, but people they are in the darkness. Just like Islam is in darkness, and is a darkness, you know, and Jews are in a darkness. So that I, because only Jesus say, I am the one way. So I'm going to show you that according to now. If you don't want to, if you don't want to be honest with yourself, we are not here to changing anybody. We are here to no, discuss. No, we have to. Yeah. No, no, no. So, we're here. Listen, yeah. I'll be honest so, with you. Yeah. I pursue conversations like yeah. this. I'm not doing this because oh, you know, I'm going to be entrenched in my position. Yeah. You're going to be entrenched in your position. I am under the impression that if you guys are honest with yourselves, everything I presented yes. with, to you, with all due respect, I don't see. I don't see any reason to follow the Bible. Yeah, and I, the one who said that yes. Jesus did not know the hours, we're gonna go. We, we, we yes. have. We're not done yet. Okay, we're gonna go for that one. Yes. So, Already Bible explained that Jesus said that, okay, this is things going to be happening. He already saying the sign. But he was talking the particular okay. time. Yeah, he was talking at the particular time. But when he's God though, right? No, no, listen, man. Go ahead, don't, don't, don't you... Don't, don't you understand that? Okay, we'll, yes. we'll go for that one once you go, go this one, okay? Yes. So, here we go. So, read this one here. And... Uh, okay. I'm going to give you the English. Uh, I don't have Google right now, yeah. so I can't read this. <laughs> So why I, you have, I, have a, I have a big guy who has a long talk. He say about the wudu. If you don't have a wudu, you cannot touch a Quran. I say, show me from the Quran where it says that you're not going to have a wudu. You have to be a clean. I, I say, know, tell me what the clean mean to you. He cannot explain what the clean mean. He showed me the ayah, which is I already know that ayah. And he just said that, okay, this is a mean. He's Arabic guy, okay? I'm talking mm -hmm. the Arabic sure, guy. Sure. So he just tried to show me that this guy. <laughs> so I said, like, where, show me where it say that you're not supposed to have... Um, uh, uh, you cannot touch the Quran until you have a video. But I have a long. Watch my video, man. I'm, so I okay. Video. Yeah, yeah. I have a YouTube channel, so you can watch in there. So we were reading uh, 2191, and I'm going to explain to you more about uh, this after this one. Um, 2191. Okay, read this one. Yeah, I like that. Remember her. Remember her. Remember her. Okay. And you're saying this is proof that? So no, no, that's proving. I'm not. I'm proving anything. I'm just asking you to read that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Read I'll that. read it out for you. Sure. And remember, this is in parentheses, so it probably wasn't there. But yeah. It's, it's just. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And her who guarded her chastity, we breathed into her of our spirit, mm -hmm. and we made her and her son a sign for all peoples. Sure. Sure. Okay. So explain to me what is that? So we believe that Jesus doesn't, or Isa alayhi salam, does not have a father, right? We don't believe that. No, no, so explain, the, make the explain this ayah, don't, don't give it, uh, uh, so 
trans if I, if yeah, I translate I, that don't explain because see what happened then uh, you're gonna be better than Allah Stop. Yeah, so it's just, 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 just translate, yeah. Remember, this is a book, right? Mm -hmm. This entire composition is what you follow. We don't follow one ayah. So if you're going to point to me and say... Sure, go to... Uh, so I, can I can point you... Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go okay, ahead, go sorry. ahead, go ahead. Let me show you something. In 96, you're going to... No, 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 yeah. I have something already. Sure. sure. Then let's go translate this one first. No, then I already read the translation. Okay, so tell me what does that mean. So I want to show you something. Sure. So, this is right here. al Kaf. al Kaf. It says... So one of the so listen closely. Praise be to Allah who sent who sent to his servant of the book and hath allowed there no crookedness. Okay. He hath made it straight and in order that he may warn the godless of a terrible punishment from him, and he may give glad tidings to the believers who work righteous deeds, that they shall have a good reward, mm -hmm. wherein they shall remain forever. Further, that he may warn those who say, Allah hath begotten a son. Sure. So this right here, which you're pointing to, which mm -hmm. you're saying, Oh, you know, uh, this is where he said this is a son. That's not what it means. We have we have we have very explicit ayah that says that that that's not a son. No, son no. Of God. Okay, hold on. Is that a contradiction? Yeah, no, no, no. You, you yeah. Are, so here's the thing. Okay. If no, I were to say, so here's I'm going to give you an example from the Bible. If I were to say, no, 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 it's important because if you believe, no, just, just, just stay, no, no, just stay. Yeah, but, but that's you believe, the So you believe the Bible, right? So I, so I have to give you an explanation from the Bible so you understand how I'm understanding. The Bible, Do you believe Bible? Right? No. So okay, saying, what, what good is that? Let me give you the explanation. Okay. I think it'll make sense to you. If I say to you, oh, it says the Bible in the makes sense more. Oh, God is not a man that he changes his mind or something like that, right? And then uh, you tell me, oh, but in later in the New Testament it says that Jesus is daughter, right? Right? Or whatever, right? You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't follow and say, uh, oh yeah, there's a contradiction. You, you believe in the tradition, right? You say you, you make it so that it works within the, con the, the within your, within your like uh, belief system, right? So you wouldn't say, oh yeah, I'm affirming a contradiction. Nobody would do that. That doesn't make any sense, right? So you're saying that, oh, this is a contradiction. No, no, no. You, you're misunderstanding. You're assuming that because the spirit was blown into her, that automatically means that, oh, the father is God. But that's no, no, I didn't. Did no, no, I no, say no, that I anything? I know where no. this okay, let's go, let's go back. Let's go to read that one. Same way, yeah? Read that one, please, for me. And remember her. Yeah. Who guarded her chastity, who yeah. breathed into her of our spirit. Our spirit. And we made her and her son okay. a sign for all people. Okay, when, when, when Allah put his spirit mm -hmm. to Maryam, mm -hmm. so his spirit became a flesh. That's right. His spirit, as in, so when but you're saying like, oh, it's Allah's spirit, as in, it's like, no, 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 no I know where this is going. I know because I understand. I'm not understand. going. I'm just asking question. No, no, I'm asking. No, no. I'm asking a question. I'm not asking you to believe or accept no, 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 that. Okay. You're making. You're trying to make I'm a conflation between our spirit, as in, it's oh, it's Allah, as in the Holy Spirit or something like that, as in that the Holy Spirit was. No, made read, flesh. read, read what's saying that. I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to no, no, translating that I totally one. Okay, yeah, I'm, I said our spirit. Okay, okay. Fair point, right? So if you would read this and you'd say. On a plain reading, you'd say, "Oh, our spirit," as if a little bit of Allah is going into into okay. Uh, Mary. Right, okay. So, question. Okay. Yes. If it's not Allah's spirit, yes. Whose spirit is that? It's not Allah's spirit. No, no. no this is a spirit. It's, it's a spirit from Allah. Okay. That's fine. Yes. So, okay. So that Allah's spirit became a flesh as a flesh. Okay, a man. How do I say this? So, you are familiar with. I mean, I'm sure you're familiar. You've you have not, here? You, okay. So you're familiar with I'm not we saying anything, I'm just saying the, okay, reading that scripture. Right yeah, give me. Uh, I'm just reading. Page yeah. So there is a so there's a further explication of this, right? Which is let me let me just find a verse. Uh, off sure. the top of my hand, I don't remember. But I think it'll make sense to you after I explain it. Sure. So if you say that the Quran okay, so it's like I'm not saying brother, I'm just bro, I'm word. just reading at this year's scripture. I'm not yeah, doing totally, anything. Totally I, I totally understand. Sure. People do not commit excess in religion. So, it says, all people of the scriptures. So I'm reading Surah Nisa. Yeah, uh, 141. Uh, what did you say? 141? Uh, 171. 171, oh, sorry, 171, yeah. So, uh, it says, O oh, people of the scripture, do not commit access yeah. in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. Yeah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was, was but a, a messenger of Allah. Allah. Word. And was and his word which he directed to Mary and a soul from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Do not say three. 
Trinity, right? Desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Exalted. <laughs> That's good for me. I, I want to bring that one later on to yeah, you, but you know. Exalted. Yeah. <laughs> <Exalted laughs> so, you're proving something here. I don't want to bring you that one to you. Yeah, you're proving that. that it's the one word. true God. Came yeah. Down. Yeah, that's why you're saying that's his spirit. No, you're he very said, he said that spirit okay. was said. You said that spirit he didn't is say his. Uh, yeah, he said his spirit. Mm -hmm. So his spirit come flesh in this world. That's what I'm trying to tell you according to this ayah. And if I if I show you the 6612, even that one, even I'm gonna go for this one here. Also, if you can read that one. This is other one because I don't want to show any saw hundred foot seventy one and I'm gonna give you the other one. There's a not only one. Here you go, I'm gonna show you this one here too. Here. Here you go boss. Read this one here. Here, read this one too. Okay. Here, read this one. And Mary and yeah, here. This is gonna to explain to you more better. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, mm. who guarded her chastity, and we breathed into her body of our our spirit, uh -huh. and she testified to the truth of the words of her Lord and, her, and his revelation, and was one of the devout. Okay, okay. that's 144, 71, and the same thing, and this one six uh, is all talking the same thing. Okay, I mean, this is so, something important, right? Sure. Go ahead. Remember, we believe in the whole book, right? Yes, yes, okay, of perfect. course. So you yes. understand. Uh, yeah. So if I told you, sure. so do you, are you familiar with Surah Imran 59? Also, is that Surah, Surah Imran? Surah Imran? Surah Imran. 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 Ali Imran. Ali Imran. Ali Imran, yeah, okay. Sorry. Which ayah? Uh, which ayah? Uh? Listen to this. Which Surah Imran. Uh? Yeah, tell me the ayah. Uh? 59. 59. Okay, so 59. Here we go. Okay, so what you're saying here? Perfect. Mm. Okay. So read that. Yeah. So listen to this. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah. No, he's like that of Adam. He created him from dust. Then he said to him, "Be," and he was. Yes, that's. So you talk about Adam? Yes. Okay. Adam actually. We yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay, okay, okay. Believe he's more yeah, right, okay, right? Because okay. he didn't have any. Let's parents. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you that. But you know, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to the Adam. Hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to your uh, Jesus one, and then mm -hmm. we're gonna go to the Adam one. Okay. So we're gonna go to that. First of all, I'm just opening the same ayah which is saying that here. Mm -hmm. Just translate that. He, he put uh, Allah's spirit and the uh, spirit no, 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 no. got... No, no, you don't... Bro, bro, you listen, listen. No, no, bro, right bro, bro, hold on, hold on. Okay. Don't shake your hand because okay. I'm not saying anything from me. Okay. I'm reading your scripture, your Quran, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say here, chastity, uh, we uh, granted her chastity, we breathe in into her our okay. spirit, okay? Our spirit. Our spirit. Mm -hmm. So when he put the our spirit, our spirit became became a flesh so as a man okay that's, no. that, that's exactly he's saying that but that's not what it's saying it's saying our spirit as I'm in, sorry spirit from three, him. three ayah three ayah we're saying that three ayah is saying same ruhuna ruhana that mean is our spirit so then his spirit became a flesh which is a man all right so whose son is going to call so how is so here so this is how I, I would counter with this and here's my question here sure if if the if the comp if the if the comparison is made to Adam... Yeah, let's go. No, 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 I'm going to go to the Adam one. Question? Let's go to the Adam one. What's your question? Well, here's my question to you. Sure. Is that if we believe that in the same way he's, he's made as yes, Adam, yeah, right. which is like B and he was. Yes, yeah, right. And okay. Jesus had a mother. Yes, mother, yes, yeah, yeah, right. Who, yeah, who's yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, he's going to yeah. read that. That's how he pull out Surah uh, 9. He fashioned him in due yeah. proportion and breathed to him something of his spirit. His spirit? Yes. Adam's spirit. His spirit. Yes, that's his spirit. Because yeah. we all have a spirit, but that spirit, yes. His. Yeah, his being. Allah. Allah's spirit. Okay, so put no, his no, spirit. No. Okay. Like a spirit, like it's like, oh, that's my dog. You know what I mean? That's no, no, his no, no, dog. no, no. We're not talking about, that. no, we're not talking about this one. We're talking about, he put his spirit, and those, those are the creation. He's come from the sand. That's a creation time, okay? Jesus is took a nine, Isa took nine months in the mother. Those are the different, over the creation, and give a birth is a two different it's not a miracle even is not uh, it's a normal procedure miracle is different and creation creation time is done the creation god is create things in six days and after that there's no creation his spirit yes so he put so, his so just so like allah put so allah put so that's now other question gonna be i'm sure. gonna i'm gonna have other question after that but now the question is that Adam created by the uh, for the sand or whatever you're gonna say or okay, the dust, okay? Mm -hmm. And then Isa was Allah spirit. So that was a process. His creation time is done. See, there's a bit of an issue here. I'll okay, issue, why. yeah. Because I think I understand the conflation that's being made here. You're saying basically that it's Allah's essence that was put into Jesus. That's that's the uh, that's the implication, and correct? Adam. 
And they add them. Right. Yeah. So here's so here's the two. But see, but the, pro- no, no, the problem. Keep, but keep something in mind. We're now, all children about it. Tom, right? Tom, here is the problem. So is here. That that the problem is here. Here is the problem. Now we're gonna have a there in the more problem is gonna be because see, here he's saying Allah saying his means his is H is capital is God spirit. Here is the God spirit. Okay. Mm-hmm. So does have a Allah has a spirit? Does Allah have a spirit? Yes. I, I don't think I don't think we've, we've. How do I say this? From my reading, I don't I don't feel I don't know. No no here you say Allah no, no, spirit. No, 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 but, but again. Like like just the way it's like his dog or something like that. You would well, say no no if I say no no, no but I'm okay. saying I'm making sure. a comparison right. Okay. If I were to say oh that's his dog, you wouldn't say that that's part of my essence. You wouldn't say the dog is part of my essence. You'd say it's a part of my uh, belonging. It's a, it's a, it's in my possession. It's whatever right. In the same way his spirit okay. it's a creation from him. It belongs look, to him. But it's not him. it's not that. him. So Allah Allah spirit here. Yeah. Allah spirit is a creation. Allah spirit is a creation. It's a creation from him. No no no. They say his spirit. So. So you talk. Uh, look at that. I'm this t- is a little. To be honest with you, this is one of those things where it's like uh, it goes into uh, phil- philosophy and theology and stuff like that. I mean, I if can you speak do not know, I can speak if on you do not, If you do not know, that's fine. Okay. But what I'm saying that here is a different. This is a creation time. God creation is done after six days. Does Allah have a spirit? You do not know. This is a problem with that. And if I'm going to ask you that what Allah formatted that you also going to lost completely. You do not know. Right. So. Here's where I, uh, I would I, see again. Like this is one of those things where I can give you my thoughts on it, but my thoughts are not. Well, we don't want a thoughts here. We want no, something no, no, from source. Yeah. So again, if we're going to make a uh, determination on what this means, right? We gather all relevant verses, right? So you're saying, oh, this means that, and I would say, okay. So if you're going to use this verse to make a case, you want to use all verses that build the case. Or that's that fine. Talking. I have no problem so with that. So when I show you... Show me that. Show me that. Let's go. Let's go to show me. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying yeah, is that... Show me. So let's go. I'm saying that this then then this is Tom, right? Tom said that it's a contradiction going to be. Right. Yeah. So when I show you this... Right. So if you say it's a contradiction, then it's yeah. like you're saying that two things are, are simultaneously true, right? Tell you're me. Saying that there's let's no, go to read right, that. So if yeah. I show you this... Show me that. Indeed the example of Jesus to Allah... Uh-huh. I already read this, by the way. It's 47? So then it's 171? No. Surah Ali Imran. 59? Okay. What's that? Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust. Then he said to him, "Be and he was." Okay, how can be? This is a lie completely. How can be? Okay, tell me honestly, you. Sure. The Adam came from the sand, mm-hmm. and uh, Jesus came from that uh, the spirit. Okay, mm-hmm. on his spirit. How can be the same? Uh, there's Allah lying here, bro. No, I don't agree. Okay, don't don't, you want to agree? That's okay, but that's a fact. That's but not true. Keep so how can be? Look, this is the creation with the sand. Here, other side is a normal baby is getting birth. How can be the same? No, that's no, a I, lie. I would, I would, I have to. Think well, I have don't to, you think so, Tom? I, I have to provide you with uh, a counter example here. This is kind of important. Is that if I said to you, you know, my car is like a horse, you'd say that's a lie because a horse is like. Do you see how they're? You can, no, you can say you're lying because the horse is not that. That's no, you're no, missing says, something which is no, 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 doesn't match your uh, what no, you try no, to no, say, no, boss. It's an analogy. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. Allah, how can be like, like boss? How can be like? Like I said, like a horse Jesus is like a car. Right? No, it's not no, the same. He doesn't no, have. No, he doesn't no, have any exhaust. I mean, he doesn't have all wheel drive. He comes from <laughs> sand, dust, and oh. that comes from the different mother's tongue. You know, that's oh. that's a first man, and Isa is not a first man. But it doesn't have to be perfect. See? It doesn't okay, have to no. be a perfect. Look, bro, you see what I'm saying? Hassan, uh, Hassan, 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 we are not here to fight over. We're not going to argue. We, we, we are. I can't wait till all three. Uh, I should ask you to leave Islam ASAP because Islam not going to take you. Muhammad's not a prophet. He never spoke to angel. He never spoke to Allah. There is no proof in Islam. Um, why you stick with Islam, man? False yeah, statement. I don't understand where you get the proof that the Bible is true. I'll be, I'll Bible be is the, I, I can I can debunk any question you have. Like a, no, I'll show like you Matthew there, 24. Right? Like, you uh-huh. just claim the Bible. I think, show me. I think I think that even Quran itself made it clear that Torah is yes. an expression from God. Okay. Yes. So do you have problem with that? No. So do you need that? That is a clear thing, evidence mm-hmm. that is from God. But it's not about Quran. Bible itself testify what God, Bible what is written in the Bible about God you cannot find it anywhere Bible is the, the only book that can reveal to you who is God and what he wants from you and that's proof even miracles of the Bible proof uh, prophecies of the Bible proof he prophesied Bible is prophesied and then things happen all these things 
And that's an evidence itself. Yeah. Quran cannot even that you have a yeah. dose of prophecy yeah. does not even match. No, I mean, because you're look, arguing what look, a prophecy is, and then that was going back to dates that, that you look wanted at, that were look explicit. Look at it. If you listen to Matthew 24, God, ex Jesus said, explain the prophecy and those prophecy happening right now. Matthew 24, it's an eyewitness right now for us. And now we are asking for the prophecy, one prophecy in the Quran. There is nobody knows where, when the prophecy happened, few days or few after, you know, nine days, you know, this is, this is God going to say that? Few years, God does not know the time? Like I said God, no, God going to say that. Okay, if, if, if I'm saying, if I... doesn't mean God doesn't know, right? Of course that means that God, God, does God knows everything? Of course. Yes. Okay, so why is he saying... Because it's no, no, no. said doesn't mean he doesn't know. So this is not a God words? No, it is God's words. I'm saying so just how because can, it's not look, said... Bro, bro, not look, if, I, if a God say that, Few years or nine years, that's not a God, that's a human. No, because it's not it's not guaranteed that it'll come to pass. Man, you don't understand that. I mean, you're just so, you're not using it. It's, if God's going to say tomorrow that's going to happen, that's going to happen tomorrow. That's right? Sure. And I here he's saying that few to nine years, that's a prophecy from God? Because it came to pass. Huh. Well, yeah. I think you're, <laughs> you're no, 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 Let us talk. We told you why, why Bible is a book from God. But you didn't show up. You didn't show us anything from Quran but to that's prove that. Where do you finish it? Where do you finish it up? We were just talking about how Quran was collected, and that you you couldn't even prove that. And even the way of collection of the Quran it still itself is not inspired from God. That's not that's not what, what I'm, I'm talking saying. about though. You're arguing something entirely different. I'm just talking <laughs> about you're saying that it's not a prediction or it's not a prophecy because a specific date's not given. But that doesn't, doesn't mean that God doesn't know. Of course the God doesn't know. That's this Allah this Allah does not know. I can tell you that. No, you're not what you wouldn't know. You wouldn't because know someone knows. He was telling me few years and nine years that. that's not Allah. If Allah said tomorrow or a time, exactly time gonna happen. It. It's still a prophecy. I think you're no, just no, Allah, your definition Allah of a now prophecy. He, wait, where's the time? Where's the who? Where, where that doesn't mean it? he was wrong. He was right. <laughs> No, I don't like See, this is a, this is a, this is a problem with Islam. Okay, can you read? Can you read? Can you read to me that one? So no, I already understand. heard it. Okay, so, so, so read that. Within a few years, okay. with Allah, is yeah. the decision in the past and the future. Well, which one are you reading it? The highlighted one. No, because read that. Okay, uh, yeah, second. The Roman Empire has been defeated. Okay, well, okay, who defeated Roman? Um, Persians. Persians. Okay, where is that here? Allah doesn't that's, know. That's making reference to an external Man, so you are better than Allah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't understand. No, it's, I, the thing I'm is, sorry, is that just, it's relevant to the doesn't... people of the time, right? What do you mean, man? If I'm telling you right now, I'm saying Roman gonna got defeated. Okay? Can you make a guess who's gonna defeat him? No, but we... we can't. Yeah, that's no, exactly, yeah. <laughs> why, why would you need a guess <laughs> if you have the... Dude, that's why we're making a guess we're, here. We're both all guests. We're not Quranists. We don't... We don't believe. I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm saying that. I'm I'm saying prophecy today, right now, right now. I said, okay, America gonna defeat it. Okay. So you're saying there's no. So okay. I'm saying America gonna get defeated. Okay. Sure. So who's gonna defeat it? You gonna make a guess who's gonna defeat it? I'm Allah. I'm Allah. I'm Allah right now. The Roman Empire has been defeated. Yes, yeah, so, okay. About the past, right? But the, okay. So isn't yeah. that information? No, so no, 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 no. It's not. See, that's that's the problem again. So when was the defeated and who defeated? Muhammad, what's uh, Muhammad time? Like brother said that Muhammad Hassan said that Muhammad time. Okay, so that's man. This is wake up, man. Leave Islam as soon Stop as possible. Sure. Leave Islam. Islam not gonna take you. I study Islam very good. Muhammad Muzammil knows that. How what kind of person I was. He knows me from very long time. I was a completely like a living like a Muslim style. But you know when I come to the Christ. I change my life. I change my standard. I have so many girlfriend, Muslim girlfriend. He knows that. I leave Islam. I study very deeply Hadith, Quran, everything. I spend years because see, I want to marry with a Muslim girl and I want to come to this Islam. But when I study Quran, study Hadith, does not look me. So then when I read the Bible, God changed my life, boss. That's a, did you ever read the Bible, boss? I haven't read it covered. I'm going to give you the Bible, man. Read the okay. Bible, man. Yes. That's, you read that and you'll see that God going to change you. I, uh, I have rudimentary knowledge of Christianity. I have, I have an understanding. Daily, daily. Huh? Every day, read one page. Yes. Sure. So here's my question. It's the KJV. Okay. So we know that. I'm, I, I'll tell you. This is my. This is my. What I would say. Uh, gap in knowledge right here. I know that Protestants have a certain number of books. I know that Catholics have a certain number of books. I know Orthodox have a certain number of books. I know that the uh, Ethiopic Church has 81. Sure. I know that. Uh, 
the Catholic Church has like 72. The Protestant yeah. book has has 66. Do you so do you believe that those the differences in those book numbers? Do you believe that those books were inspired from God or not inspired by God? And if they were not inspired by God, then why is it that there's a d distinction between the two? You wanted to answer. You want? Yeah. Okay. I can answer. That. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Here is the thing. Mm -hmm. God gave His word, mm -hmm. but He didn't. He didn't. I mean, He didn't. Con he cannot control everybody to write about what they think is from God. His word is still clear there. So what I'm saying is like your father has a letter to you, heard it. Somebody wrote, wrote a letter and he's saying that also, this is for your father. You're going to know which one is from your father, okay? That thing. So the Bible itself, when we see, when we come together, the scriptures, the 66 books of the Bible, they agree. Okay. So, so anything that doesn't agree with them, mm -hmm. that's not a part of the Bible. Okay, and let yeah, me tell you one, I'm going to explain yeah. to you. The yeah. Bible is a message to Jesus to come. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Jesus is going to come to this world, mm -hmm. die for our sin, raise after three days, and sure. he's going to go back. That's a message. They have all the same message, and that's why the Bible came for it. If you have an extra historical book, mm -hmm. the time the people, they were have authority, just like a Uthman, okay? Mm -hmm. So he has authority, so he burn it, okay? We did not burn it, but we consider, those people consider, this is a kind of revolution, but does not match with the other part of the Bible. So they did not put it in there. Has nothing wrong with that, having extra book, it does not change the message of the Bible. So Any Bible you pick it up, yes. So here's, here's where I find, uh, this is what I'm trying to figure out, right? Sure. Is that, there's a, dis obviously, you can say, I, and I agree with you, the general message is the same from Christian to Christian, right? Yeah. The problem that I have is, the Catholics believe that those additional six books, I believe they're canon of 72 books. Again, I don't I don't understand what that, that Those means. are historical book books, sure, and sure, that's sure. what I'm But, but yes. they believe that that is inspired work. Yeah. But the uh, Protestants uh, don't believe that. Yeah, right? yeah, no, look, again, inspired work, because see how, see, mm -hmm. we did not have a computer on those times. Okay, we don't have a people like, okay, just put data and then they match it in there, sure. okay? What happened? We have a, a, the books written by Paul. Mm -hmm. So when they see a books which is does not match what the Paul the way he writes, mm -hmm. so they don't consider a Paul books. So they remove from there. They don't say who, this who is, is a. Sorry, who's removing? Who are you speaking to? Sorry, the Catholics or the. Protestants? No, no, I'm talking the people with authority, just like Uthman. Okay. Okay, like a people like that. Okay, they have authority. Okay. Sure. So what they were doing, they don't see that this is even even part of the revolution, but does not match with what the revolution through other uh, uh, people they wrote down. So they don't put that in the Bible. And that has nothing to do with the wrong. Those are historical book and has nothing wrong with that. I can, I, if we have it, we don't have any problem to read that one. But, but the distinction would be made is they believe it's inspired. No, look at people, people, it's people, right. people. But, but watch this. Sure. You've people. got the books. Sure. You know who Josephus is? I know he's a, he's a historian. Jewish right? historian. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. First century. Yes. Okay. So the thing is, is he wrote a lot of stuff that was history. You sure. know, Maccabees, first Maccabees, second Maccabees. That's in Old Testament, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because those two books are in there and they got historical truths in them, mm -hmm. one person looks at it and say, ah, but we know these guys were all part of that mix, the Jewish nation at that time. But is that important to the spiritual element of it? Maybe not. Same with Josephus. Josephus. We're not arguing what he said the first thing. We don't see it quite as inspired. Does that make sense? So he's writing a historical narrative. Oh, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, I'll fix it, give it to me boss, Hussain, give it to me, I'll take care about it. Yeah, Hussain, but you know one thing I'm going to telling you, yes. whatever you see this book right now sure. in your hands, okay, yes. this is everything what we need from the Bible, mm -hmm. we have everything, right. that that word will change your life, Islam not going to take you anywhere brother, I'm telling you, I've seen a people, they change the, uh, come to Islam, mm -hmm. left Islam, you know, but I'm telling you, you're going to leave that once you're going to read that one. I'm telling you, you have to spend some time. If you're seeking for a God, if you're just for just looking for an argument, that's not going to do no, any good. Yeah. I'm not, I, I'll put it like this. I, I, my general philosophy is that sure. whatever is true, is true no matter if you believe it or not. It doesn't matter. It only, it only serves to benefit you by believing the truth. If you reject the truth, it only serves to... Uh, it doesn't, it, it's, uh, it's to your own loss. Right? Sure. So I have, if you want to present something, by all means present it. I have no problem with anything. If you have any dilemmas or something like that, I... I'll, I'll even come and see you guys over there, you know, with Amelia. Really, yeah. with, again, with due respect, I understand. I was, I wanted to actually continue with the conversation with you because you provided uh, information. So these are historical books. I'm just sorry, with, uh, with due respect to you. Yeah. Stuff. I wanted to just make sure I understand. So you're saying that these are uh, historical books, not necessarily revelation. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yes. But, yeah. 
But here's the thing, though. Um, the distinction I would draw between Josephus and uh, and those books is that Josephus, we don't, nobody would believe Josephus is uh, is fired work. He might not? have. Why not? Because it, he doesn't even claim it's his fire. No, no, that's not what I'm asking. Why would you not think Josephus had inspiration when it's just historical? I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a possible. I mean, if it's the truth, it's the truth, right? right. I guess you could say all right. truth is inspired by God. I have no problem with that. Uh, but the idea, the idea that sometimes when we think of, like, let's just go with the idea of logic. But sure. if we're in first grade and we're learning one plus one equals two, mm -hmm. we got a math book. Sure. By the time we hit fifth grade, that math book looks a lot different. Of course. Seventh grade, math book looks a lot different. You get to algebra, trigonometry, all these things, it looks way different. Okay. Those other books do not break the fundamentals of the first book. In a weird way, the Bible's kind of like the fundamentals. You don't need to be a theologian to mm -hmm. get the concepts. Mm -hmm. And sin, we got no hope. We need a Savior. Amen. <laughs> That's all we need, a Savior. Without Jesus, we cannot yeah, do any good, we man. We cannot take away yeah. any of our own sins. Okay. Well, I just want to say before uh, anything else, just uh, I appreciate your guys' like kindness. Yeah. Same here, like, man. I've seen uh, a lot of like very contentious arguments and like that, so you guys it have been like, very nice. So Beautiful. I appreciate that. I, uh, I, I will say, you know, obviously, I'm a believer. I'm not perfect believer. I'm not. If you ask me some questions, I might not. I, I, some things I won't have the answer to. Some things I personally don't understand myself. Some things that you could say, oh, that's like a doubt or something like that. Not necessarily, but uh, yeah, I'm just saying like it's. I I think the most important thing is that we're all oriented on seeking the truth. That does not necessarily mean that we will be where we started. Do you see what I'm saying? So it is possible. You know, you started as Muslim. You didn't. You didn't believe. No, no, no. I wasn't Muslim. I never been a Muslim. I, you said you're no, I was, I, I was more uh, oh, well, like sure. a, so Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan you know, yeah. So okay. I was more in believing all that. Yeah, cultural. Aspect, that, you sure. know, that's right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is he that. Knows. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah. I think I would say I, if I were to make a case for Islam, I'll say this. Uh, if you don't mind, um, we see the Jews, we see the Christians. They have. We believe that they there's something to them, right? Obviously, we believe that office we believe well we would make the distinction between jesus we don't believe jesus is god but we believe obviously he's a good person i showed you see now course. see he's, he's still you don't want to believe it that he's the son of god i prove you that if you don't want to believe it that's fine that's okay, okay what, I from your here, book. what i would say here is that i think just a general if i'm making a general uh pitch of islam i would say that islam solves a problem i think that with with both with, with the, there's a what i say a friction between jews and christians what is the friction Jews don't accept Jesus, right? They don't accept Jesus for a variety of reasons. They say that he doesn't uh, he Very doesn't good. necessarily fulfill the prophecies that are in the Bible. They make some. They say that oh he. I've seen I've seen what they say. I've seen. The problem is they can cite scripture. They can cite scripture. They can say he's violating X Y Z scripture from here or whatever, right? Absolutely. But you would say oh well he had Jesus. You would you would come, well, what I'm saying is that it's almost like an unbridgeable gap. The problem or the solution I see. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, the go solution ahead. I'd say is that Islam has Islam puts Jesus back into I would say I, I think it reclaims Jesus. I, I think you sure. actually make Jesus exactly what the Jews did. You guys mm -hmm. are parallel with Jewish belief. Jews that Jews don't You would have hung Jesus on the cross. Stuff. I guarantee it. No, we no, would have. No, no, no. If he, he came in claiming he was God, most of us would be going, Yeah right. Okay, I but guarantee okay. that. That's but, what you're doing. But here's a, here's a here's a, here's where I would say here's where it gets complicated. Okay. If a Jew were to say, hey, in the scripture it says God is not a man, and here's this man say, saying I am God, why is it their fault for do, for for reclaiming? Do you see what I'm saying? They're they're following the Bible, right? Yes. And that's where that's where it's like this gets complicated because I'm it's gonna, almost like yeah. I'm gonna yeah. give you I'm gonna give you one proof for Jewish people. Sure. What the whatever Bible they have, a Torah they have. Sure. They don't read their own self. Yeah. That's exactly. what the problem is that, okay? okay? In the Bible, when we show them, they lost like everybody else, like you lost. Right. When I show you that surah, right. mm -hmm. 2191, Jesus, uh, Isa is the son of uh, God. Mm -hmm. Look at that, read that one. This is, I have all for Jewish people, read this one here. So well, this yes. is a prophecy, Isaiah, uh, the prophet did it for uh, 200 well, years a before. A child is born unto us, a son is given, and the government yeah. will be on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor by God, yeah. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For unto yeah. us a child is born. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Jesus. Is given, yes. 
and the government will be upon his shoulders. The government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting. Mighty God, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, one this of is them. Matthew, right? wait, no, no, no. This is Isaiah. That's Old Testament. Oh, so this is going back for saying that. Matthew no, no, no. That's reference. That's reference yeah, okay. but this is Isaiah. Okay. This is over before even nothing happened. That that mm -hmm. was a prophecy. I'm going to give you more if you want to. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you have so more. Here's one, here's so the they they okay, just sure. don't want to believe. That's only the problem. Is that you know what? Deception. Mm -hmm. There's a time for God said that they're going to be blind. Once they're going to be open, mm -hmm. they will be saved. So this is a time because they are walking with the right now darkness. Right. So yeah. go ahead. Well, There's before Jesus was born, what do you think Jesus was? Before Jesus was born? Yeah, to Mary. Because it literally, in, I, in, I know, but just hear me on a little line of logic. Sure. This is the things that we have thought through. Sure. It says, Jesus says, I am the only one mm -hmm. who came down from heaven. The only one mm -hmm. ever that okay. pre-existed. Before his earthly birth, mm -hmm. you, yeah. you don't think that's kind of impressive? Pre-existing early. See, this is where it gets. I know it does, but watch why I'm saying that as a line. Mm -hmm. If I say in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. God is not a man, mm -hmm. we would say that's true. Yeah. He's an eternal spirit. Sure. He's God Almighty. Sure. He's powerful. Mm -hmm. But watch this: mm -hmm. when He says, "Let them give glory to the Lord Yahweh and declare His praise in the coastlands." The Lord Yahweh shall go forth like a mighty man, mm -hmm. stir up his zeal like a man of war. If it took a man to redeem man, you don't think God could do that? You don't think God that could make... I want, I want to add also what Tom was saying sure. here. See here before you. Okay, here you are reading. But before he came as a man, he's not saying God's a man. Mm -hmm. See, I think you guys get caught up in that. You think, oh, before Jesus was, he was a man. No, no, no. The, no, the, the, we, we can the, ask them. Okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. See, there's this thing here. The context also of this uh, verse mm -hmm. was about God can come, can keep His promises, mm -hmm. not like a man can lie. That's Did you right. get it? That was uh, that was the more main context when I was talking about. That's God right. is not a man should lie. He should. He can say no. Say say something like that and lie mm -hmm. not to happen. Mm -hmm. But even although what we say in Christianity is not a divinity. Mm -hmm. Like when he became a man, we say that he took a form of man. That's right. So he was still a divine. We're not saying that a divine as in become mm -hmm. a flesh or a human being. No, he was divine always there, but he took a flesh. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to add there. Mm -hmm. When this book is written, when Jesus said, that God said that God is not the man, mm -hmm. he's talking about the Old Testament. Before even Jesus come man, God did not come as a man. On that time when this written, there was no Jesus was a come as a man. You understand what I'm saying? There's this, uh, actually, this yeah. is interesting you bring this up. There's yeah. a verse that I remember reading. It says something like, uh, it's not a verse I remember reading. It's something that I've seen presented to, just presented yeah, to sure. It's the same where it's like, uh, they say that uh, Abraham was in front of three people. I, I don't exactly remember. Angels, three and angels. One, and one of them, like I think Christians say that that was God. Right? Yeah, yeah. That, so that, that, that was, was a Jesus. Right? Yeah, and that's so right. You would say that, where it says God is not a man, he's, so he was, then he came as no, a man. No, 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 no. As an angel as, can become either. something that something people see. No. Uh, as you would say that that's God manifesting in the flesh at that moment. Uh, no. no. You wouldn't say yeah. that. No, no, no. no because no. he wasn't born like Jesus was. Jesus was born like a man. As a man. He came, okay, when angel came, uh, you know that angel coming to Muhammad, okay, a couple right, times. Right, yes. So he come as an angel, he come as a man. What that, that came, yeah, that happened. Yes. That happened, so exactly no, the no, same no, thing, yeah. two of the angels. I remember, see, see, the I two were the angel and there was a third was the Jesus. Yeah. You think that was Jesus? That's right, right. That absolutely. That no, well, Jesus. You're father. making the distinction, yeah. we're saying one and the same. Yeah. You're saying the father is the son? No. You, did, you just read it in Isaiah 9-6. <laughs> and unto us a son is given, Let and his them. name will Let be... Them. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Uh, okay, so how could the Son be the Father? No, no, that's, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Is I, draw the, I thought there was a distinction where it was the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit are three distinct persons yeah, yeah, it in is, one it is, it essence, is, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That, see, right. that's why that's why we bring the John one yeah. one. Sure. Right. The, the when you say the God right. Word yes. became a flesh. That's right. Like the same thing as Surah for twenty one ninety one. Yes. Allah. Spirit became a flesh. That's right. A spirit from Allah. Yeah. That can say all the spirit. 
that, no, you that, would that, say that, all the spirits. That's Allah's spirit. This is the Allah's spirit. It's like my see, dog. No, no, no. See, that, no, see, no, no. Try and think of it more yeah. like this. If I touch you, yes. you say, that's Tom's finger? Yes. The finger or, belongs to okay. his finger. Okay. Yes. So, but, but when I say this, mm -hmm. I say, I didn't touch you. You did? No. So. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. What touched My you? My finger. Your finger. My finger. Yeah. finger oh, no, no. Finger. See, that's two people right there. I got a mind, mm -hmm. directs the finger, but there's no way the finger is the mind. I actually completely forgot. What, hold on. So what was the... Sorry. I, okay. So yeah. the word word became a flash. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's okay. Right. And that same thing that God... Yes. So that's that. the same thing in the Surah yeah. of 21, Surah 66, 66, 12, Surah 417, that was saying that the word of Allah became a flash. Surah, if you look at the Surah 66, 12, the word, the Jesus was, or Isa was a word, mm -hmm. he was a prophet and he was a spirit. So that his word became a man. Okay. Even, um, in, even in the thing, it says stuff that you should honor, you honor the face of God. Well, Jesus literally is the face of God. It's the best example. If we ever say, like in John, where he says, show us the Father. The apostles look at it, Jesus goes, are you kidding me? Have I not been with you so long? That's what's hard for most people to wrap their minds around. Mm -hmm. That's why the Jews put Jesus on a cross, because they couldn't handle the fact that God came down to earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, but isn't that your guys' the same contention? Our con well, again, we would draw a distinction between us and the Jews in the sense that the Maybe Jews so. believe... But well, I'm asking, isn't that a fundamental <laughs> principle of yours? Is it God, God can't come down in the flesh. He cannot do it. There's no way Almighty God it's, could do that. It's it's the idea that it's God's entirety can be com contained in the flesh. No, I didn't yeah. say that. Yes. Yeah. Hence there's, the word son of God. There, there's something I want to make clear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm got to think about that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a tough one. Yes. <laughs> the manifestation of Jesus. Yes. When when God the Son yes. become a man. It means like that. He didn't lose his divinity as a, a being, I see what you're saying, as an yes. assassin. You're being saying he like didn't change, but he... Did. That's right. Yes. But he took yeah. on... Took on the flesh. The humanity. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see what you're saying, thing, here's, here's where it gets complicated to me. No, no, same thing, same thing I told you earlier. Yes. If an angel come to the uh, earth or yes. with the Muhammad, yes. does he leave his uh, uh, identity as an angel or he still uh, the, can be... He lost his identity as an angel? And he became see, a man. A, see, that's an interesting question because yeah. we could see what could happen is the angel could function as a soul in the same way we have a, this body has a soul, right? But it could also be the case that that's the not angel a, has lost. That's Quran how talk about it. I, I don't. <coughs> so where are you getting that one? No, no, this is my speculation. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> man, let us talk about this. Yeah, I'm I'm saying, saying, good. Okay, that's good. So you know, you know the Bible then. That, yeah, you know the Bible. Like, yeah. To, this is one of those things. What's kind of interesting is that we do know that the angel took the form of a man. Yes. The question becomes, how? What did the angel lose? His complete yeah, power in the nature, becoming, his nature, yeah. and angelic did he, nature. Did he, did he become? Was he? You, it's like. Who is it's a it's a it's an interesting question that I don't have an answer. But let me so that, that's you the same thing. Same thing when the, when the same thing. Oh, one second. When the same thing, Jesus came to as a human. Yes. He he lost his uh, all my all knowing. Yes. All power. Not necessarily. Uh, no, no, he lost it. Yeah, he does not have it. Because there's, there's one uh, there's one verse though that I hear I see Christians yeah. says that they say that Jesus declared his godness when he said before Abraham was I am. Yeah, 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 but that was that that. But, but then he was declaring his his uh, godhood, his his uh, god nature. No, no, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying. When he came to that, the flesh, yes. he lost his uh, uh, his uh, all knowing because he in all eminent, you know, all, everybody cannot be because he was a human flesh and human he flesh cannot take it. He humble himself, so he cannot. So, okay, now he want to say something. So, okay. Yeah, there's something I want to say here. Sure, something right. when we say he's a fully man, fully God. Yes. So why he was a a man who was God? Same time as a God. However, yes, he didn't exercise his divine. Power. Power as a son of God. He submitted to the Father. Yes. So like Let me get it. Let me finish it up. See here? But there's something important about the angelical nature. Mm -hmm. You are, you are sure. talking about mm -hmm. it. Although you cannot tell about it because you don't see what is going on there. Mm -hmm. But there's something I want to I want you to keep it in your mind. Mm -hmm. If do you believe that the result of sins or the consequences of sins, the sin, sin brought death. death. So if you're going to believe that, you're going to say, angel, they don't cease from life. Did you get it? Because they are not, they are sinless. They are holy. 
You get it? They um, don't see from life. They are existing all. They are existing all words. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you gonna say like that? You gonna come with the idea? So even when they come as human beings, they don't lose their angelical nature. See, they see still that's, angelical. That's the, that's what I'm. I yeah, they they, they, they uh, see like they that. That's why I see it. That's what I see. It. If they know, they're not. They are not uh, what they call subject. Subject. Uh, what they call subjection. One is subject. Uh, what they call subject. Uh, subject to mm -hmm. to the to the to the death. They are yes. not. Yeah, they're not. Then, if they come as human beings, that they mean they cannot lose that their their angelical nature. If they lose it, that means they cease from la from life, and that means they are dead. Really, you get it? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. It's one of those things where it's like we know. Okay, I know that, like you said, uh, what's it called? Three angels that came in the form of men, right? Mm. The question becomes like, did they stay like that? Did they die at some point? Did they just turn no, back? No, they're back. back. Just, they went no, back. Right. So the Bible so talks. Yeah. No, no, Bible talks about. Oh, so they just turned back. Into yes, them. they went okay. back to you. Okay. Yeah, but because we it, say that, the, yes. the Quran does not explain that yes. much. Yeah, that's what the problem is. The Quran right. does not. Took, you could say they took on a fleshly look. Sure. But we don't know how powerful these guys were exactly. or not. But when they went, the two but angels went to Sodom and Gomorrah, sure. guess what? They didn't. They had, Sodom and Gomorrah had look, much of a fight. Yeah, one them. thing I want to mention that Allah is not all powerful because Allah cannot do things what God can do it. God cannot no. come God cannot come to his creation. Allah cannot come to his creation. Well, so because look at that. Angel can come, yes. okay, Jesus can come, sure. but Allah cannot. The problem is that Allah cannot have a baby because he's not in a, he does not have a son because he does not have a wife he does not have uh, you know uh, or girlfriend so he can have a baby Allah is limited our God who can do everything he can is a powerful he can do it but Allah is unlimited is, is limited I mean from our perspective I'll just give you our perspective on this. sure we don't view his inability to do the things that you stated as weaknesses we view those as if he took those on those would be weaknesses because it's like okay if he comes in flesh or something like that he loses his uh, omniscience for example right no and not necessarily but he would we would say that if he's a human or whatever he loses his on he would lose his omniscience right and i think this is the, the dilemma that i think personally that like i i'm uh, you know again like nice meeting you guys but one thing that i've seen with christians and one thing i, I here's here's a, here's the one dilemma i have never seen anyone bring up ever jesus is said to have been he had the hypostatic union he was god and uh, man right so that means that he, his sonship, or whatever you would say, is like God the Son. We know that he, so that nature of his was God, right? He's fully God, right? Now he doesn't necessarily, I'll grant you, he doesn't have to necessarily manifest himself. Why is it that when he was on the cross, he called out to the Father as opposed to the God the Son? The Son is, the, is fully God, Holy Spirit is fully God, uh, Father is fully God. Why only call it, why every single time he doesn't say, Oh, I'm gonna make prayer to my my hyper like my other. Do you see what I'm saying? I I've do. never seen. I've never heard anyone ever bring this up. I've never heard an explanation. I've never heard Muslim bring this up. I'm not, I've always wanted to know. Okay, what explanation are you talking about? The why it's calling why on the is cross? Why only saying the Father as because remember the Son is still God to you, right? So mm -hmm. you say Christians believe that the, the Son is fully God, mm -hmm. Father's fully God, sure. uh, Holy Spirit's fully God. Sure. The question becomes, why is he not calling out to his Son form of God? He's only calling out to the Father. <laughs> That's what I've never heard. I, I've I never don't. Heard that I don't, I don't. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but only in an idea that you misunderstand. It's stuff. possible I understand. I, I know, but just watch what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going with the finger idea again. If I touch you with yes. the finger, mm -hmm. how much you want to argue this is not coming from my mind? I would never argue that. Okay. But, but so I, watch what I'm saying. Sure. The finger mm -hmm. only does as the mind should. Brain. The sun uh -huh. only does the will of the father. Now, mm -hmm. when we're talking about God, mm -hmm. not not Tom here, mm -hmm. but God, sure. the hand of God is Jesus. So when That's you, him in the physical world. So, but mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. totally submits to the Father. You're separating him out. You're saying, why doesn't the hand okay, be subject let, to let, the let, hand? Let me explain to you more, uh, Tom. Okay. Yes. All right. He's not subject See, to the when hand. Jesus came as a uh, son in the world for mm -hmm. 33 years around, sure. okay? So he has to everything, whatever he has to does, he does for us to to teach us mm -hmm. as a right. relationship, father and son relationship. Right. Okay, he's showing us, he's showing us to how to do that relationship with the father, uh, physical father, okay, and the spiritual father. Both ways he's teaching us, okay, because Bible says that love your parents, you know. Okay, with, yeah. okay, so this is he was teaching us to honor your father and mother, okay. That's what, okay. okay. And what he's doing here, 
is showing us how much you have to respect a father who is in heaven, yes. which is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are yeah. one. Okay. So he's saying that the way I was doing it, do the same thing what I'm doing it. That was a teaching to us. Okay. okay. So anytime, whenever he was talking to, he said, Our Father. That's why we pray. That's why we honor the same way Jesus was teaching us the way. Understood. Sure. But here's the problem. Here's here's why I see a problem. Sure. You also so Jesus is not simply a prophet from your perspective. Jesus Absolutely. is God, right? Absolutely not. Yeah. So it's it's not as simple as he's demonstrating what we should do. He also has the characteristic of, of uh, he has full omniscience. He's he's fully God, right? So the question becomes: If he's co-equal, co-eternal, as I understand. No, I, to, I I earlier I told you. Yes. When you became a as a human, like an angel. Yes. Okay. When angel became a man. Yes. He does not have his wing. He cannot fly like the way he's supposed to fly. Okay, okay. Th that's why he lose out this all the uh, the power. Okay, whatever he cannot. The sun still exists, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Sun. Sun like sun like just stop no, no, that's that, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, the sun here because he is not a god. Is not a magic. God is a real god. He is the order God. He does not go off the order. Okay. okay. So what he did uh, when the Jesus was at the flesh here, mm -hmm. so he has a human brain. He does not have. The whole mighty God brain, mm -hmm. who can think, who can be everywhere, like a he, he was a Holy Spirit. He was at the flesh too. So, so when when in the uh, in the spirit, you can be everywhere, but with the flesh, you cannot be everywhere. Right. So, so this is, is someone who said in the Bible with all these uh, like, sure, sure, to interrupt. Yeah. Someone said, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't know who to attribute to this to, but someone said that he is fully God and fully man and flesh. Show me the yeah. show me the Bible. Show me the Bible. So I, again, that's just from my research. Just search it. There's nothing like that because see what Can happened. Can I read you something? Just go for it, please. Okay, this is Isaiah 43. You are my witnesses, says Yahweh, and sure. my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am besides no savior. You know what we call Jesus? Well, savior. I, I have declared and saved. Therefore, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Indeed, before the day was, I am He, and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. When He says my hand, what do you think that means? Yeah, you can't be possibly talking about Jesus, or the hand of God, or that which saves, or God come down in the flesh. Couldn't be referencing His hand like that. A little complicated. Time. I know it is very, but this is why we believe by faith. Look, this is one thing you guys. You know how I grew up? Too? I grew up Roman Catholic. Okay. Okay. So the only reason I bring that up is because if I talk to a Roman Catholic today, they'll tell me you're apostate, dude. You're right. outside the yeah. boundaries. Okay. They'll call me heretical. Right. And I go, wow. Let me give you one scripture to bring it into you. Mm -hmm. According to what you judge, mm -hmm. you will be judged, is what it says in Matthew. The Roman Catholic guy mm -hmm. looks at me and says, what's your point? I say, gently judge me. <laughs> you call me heretical and I'm on my way to hell? He better be caught on there and make sure he's not looking in the mirror and actually calling that to himself. Does that make sense? So we're really called to a humbleness. Right. We're all students trying to find the Lord. That's what we need to understand. So it's not like, oh man, dude, you know, look at my PhD in theology, I beat you. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm, uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people with PhDs in theology, yeah, yeah, yeah. all sorts, man, yeah. Christian, Muslim, yeah. and I'm looking at it going, fundamentally fail some of the simple points. Who's no, going to save you? I, I, I will agree, I'll agree with you that right. the knowledge doesn't necessarily, uh, right. it doesn't translate to belief or what you say. Right. Uh, so right. Sure. And that's why I think about this But think about this fundamentally, because this is what I've dealt with. As a Roman Catholic, that's what they do. They do a lot of sacrament stuff, right? You're talking about Catholic stuff? Yes. The Roman Catholic stuff, I think it's seven sacraments, but it's baptism, sure. first communion, confession. Sure. And Look at all those things that they have, they're actually biblical. Mm -hmm. in, in one by one point mm -hmm. but we could say you don't parse it out mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. if oh now that you're seven years old you can do your confession 
He's trying to bring sinners to repentance. They, he's he's not parsing it out. Okay, when you're 21, dude, you go do this ritual and you're in. You would know by the rituals. You, I, I remember going to the confirmation. Say prayers. Bishop's here. He bumped you over the head with this little thing. And I walk away going, you received the Holy Spirit. I didn't feel it. You know, one guy in my class, he didn't even want to be there. And they're saying, you have to. I'm going, this guy doesn't even want to be there. You don't believe any of the tenets of the Roman Catholic page. And they're saying, you have to do this. Yeah, so, I mean, That's what I'm saying. Can you understand how weird that is from a logic standpoint? I don't want yes. someone to come to the Lord by you know, no not just right, 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 right. It's it's right. It's right. It's or the idea is too, we want to be persuasive, but not to a point of point of threat, and somebody feels, you know, oh, I better join or else. Well, at the at the end of the day, like, uh, right. I understand. That. Right, right. So, um. Sorry, uh, so you guys know what God questions is, right? Uh, oh, okay. okay. Uh, thank you. So it is. Uh, oh, where? So okay, so okay, Nazir. Thank you. So this is, uh, oh, he's coming. He's coming. Get away for you. Can we done? This is just something that yeah. I'm curious about. No, it's beautiful, dude. I love having conversations. I personally. Oh, go ahead, man. Yeah, I know. It's just scratched my theology. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, really, go ahead, it builds yeah. us strong. He has a, the text for so you. So you're familiar with God questions. Right. What's that? God questions. You know what uh, I don't know. Okay, it's a very, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, popular, like, uh, uh, apologist website. Right? Okay. So, at the core of Christ Christology lies the doctrine of Jesus was not merely a human being, but that he was also fully God, right? This concept known as a hypostatic union reveals the dual nature of Jesus, who transcends the ordinary boundaries of human existence. The, the term hypostatic union expresses the dual nature of, of Jesus as fully God and fully man. In 80, uh, AD 451, the Council of Chalcedon, Articulated this belief, affirming that Jesus has two distinct natures, divine and human, united in one person, mm -hmm. without confusion, change, division, or separation. Now, that's kind of an important thing, but I'll go back to that. This union remains an unfathomable mystery, stretching the limits of human comprehension. Fair enough, I'll grant that. New Testament present, presents Jesus as a historical figure who was born in Bethlehem, Matthew 2 1, and raised in uh, Nazareth. He experiences the full range of human existence, uh, physical limitations, emotions, and temptations. Jesus becomes hungry, thirsty, fatigued, sorrowful. He also shows compassion to those in need, experienced the pain and betrayal, and in his humanity, Jesus is a perfect representation of what it means to be human. It continues, but uh, you get the so point, my, right? My question is that concept references the Bible. We, I'm not, we, we believe that sure. the, the Jesus was the fully God yes. and fully man. Yeah. Okay? Yes. But when you come as a man, yes. all right? You so, have limitations. Yeah, he had a limitation. Right. Like I told you, angel became a uh, man, yes. so he has, he cannot have all his power, okay? So, uh, same thing. I want you to quote me from the Bible what the Bible says. This gives me the verses. Okay. Which and one was yeah, that? I'm going to add yeah. what he was saying. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. what we are saying here, yes. we're not saying he's not fully man and not fully God. Yeah. Sure. We're saying like this. When he became a man, sure. he did not exer exercise his authority as a son of God. Sure. Sure. He and submitted I, I to I the Father. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to finish that yeah. also because mm -hmm. what happened, we call fully God. Why we call fully God? Mm -hmm. Because he is a God, mm -hmm. okay? But you know, he was not, now I'm going to come because he's not using his whole uh, thing because he, he humbled himself. Self, yeah. Mm -hmm. you get he come, like, you know, when you humble, like when you, Allah said that mm -hmm. I became humble, so that means uh, Allah became a uh, softener, Allah because he has a name, okay? Uh, Rahim. Mm -hmm. So Rahim means, that doesn't mean that Allah, if he want to be humble to you, but he, he lost all his power. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? When Allah say I'm a Rahim, yes. Okay, so what does that mean? Mer merciful, right? Yeah, merciful because yes. he, he even you do something, he's not gonna use a power against you. Mm -hmm. So same thing with the when Jesus was here, he was humble himself to use his all his power. Yeah. Okay. See, here's the thing. So when he says before Abraham was yeah, right. good, yes. I'm walking out with it. You say that, that uh, what's it called? Before Abraham was, I, I am. He uh, was, uh, that's the, ex that's him. No, when he said that, God, he was saying that he, he was not in the world. He was in the heaven. On that time he was talking about. He was saying before. He says that in particular is saying that Jesus at that point is saying that he is declaring himself God in the flesh. Yes, yes, he was. No, 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 cannot be. He said that before Adam. Yeah. So before Adam, he wasn't, he wasn't, no, he come, Abraham, yeah. Right? Hey, Abraham, yeah, Adam or uh, uh, before, all, anyway, of it. all of it, yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying that Abraham, so he was, he's talking about before in the heaven, because he was 
came as a flesh talking to as a three like a people come in three man the one was a Jesus so that's why he was saying that Jesus was saying that Abraham was happy with me when I he saw me I see what you're saying yeah so here's where I would say here's where I think there's a bit of this is what I'm trying to understand this is what I sure. never heard any explanation of Christian and this is what I'm saying is we know that Christians believe that the Father is fully God we know that they believe the Son is fully God we know that they believe the Holy Spirit is fully God yet every single thing as far as I can tell they're calling to the Father they're yeah, not yeah, calling yeah, to no, the no, Son no, no. See, calling see, to see again again calling so, to so, the so Father actually, no to, let me tell you okay look I'm going to explain to you that yes you work in the same office, I work in the same office, sure. and he work in the same office, sure. and uh, Tom is working in the same office, okay? And you are the boss in this, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, but as a human, we are all human. Yes. We are all human, yes. right? Remember that. Yes. But you have a higher post, you are a boss. Sure. He is a supervisor, okay? Sure. I'm an office clerk, okay? Sure. And he's a telephone operator, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have a different offices. It's not that we are all human, but the power, you have extra power, and I have a, it's not that I have a, as a human, I have a less power. We are, as a human, we are all same power. I have a two hands, he has a two hand, we can punch, he can punch and all that. Same thing, as a God nature, they're all same, but they're using a different offices. So what, that, but the power is all God has the same power. That, see, that's what I'm saying, they're co-equal, right? That's yes. from the Trinitarian yes. doctrine, they're co-equal. Yeah, yeah. So when I'm seeing, so here's the thing. If you, this is what I'm understanding, could sure, be my sure. flaw in understanding, sure. but I'm thinking, if you're saying that, that Father is God, fine, that Son is God, Holy Spirit is God, I'm thinking, if all of these three are God, why is it that you, that every single reference is only made to the Father, it's not made to the Son, it's not made to the Holy Spirit, that's yeah, what it's saying. The thing, thing is that right now, we're, de look, we're dealing, Jesus is a human in the world right now. Yes. All the Bible is talking about Jesus when he was in the in earth. That's why we are doing all stuff is all in the head. But the did the Son, the God, exist? Did He stop existing for some time? No, of course so, not. So then, so Jesus could have called. No, him. see again, said. again. When you see John one one, yes. He said the Word, word of Word became a flesh. The Word was. God. The Word was yeah. in the in the Jesus. Okay, yeah, that was uh, Him. Yes. Him as a flesh. Yes. Okay. So when he was in the world, so that the divine nature of God was the same. He wasn't nothing missing or anywhere. He was in the earth here. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. there's nothing missing from Yeah, right. Yeah. But so he, as a human, when he came to the flesh, okay. so he has the limitations. Like suppose I told you he became humble. Mm -hmm. So he cannot, he can be like, you know, he can be everywhere. But you know, when, when you see, when Jesus came after the uh, death, mm -hmm. he was in the flesh. We can be all over on that time. When Jesus was uh, came after three days from the uh, death, death, death yeah. so he was in the flesh, so he can be almighty, all knowing, all powerful in the in the flesh here. Because okay. whenever Jesus was talking to uh, Peter or the, the disciple, mm -hmm. he suddenly he went to somewhere else. So he was on that was a power. He was in a, in in the earth. He was a fully God. Right, right. That's what yes, I'm saying. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But when he was as a flesh, he was in a limitation. He was became humble. To himself, to not to use the okay, power. Okay, so here's my question, right? Sure. Like, I understand that Christians believe that, and I, I I'm, this is what my understanding is. You can correct me if I'm wrong. The Trinity obviously is a uh, eternal concept, right? It never stopped existing, right? And I also know that the Trinity wasn't explicated in the Old Testament. It wasn't like there was no doctrine. There was no. Oh, no, of course not. There are all, there are all the no, truths. No, references. Come no, 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 no. See, that's what. Doctrine itself no. is explicated as in it's like, oh, you know, uh, the Council of Nicaea, this and that. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. The Bible talks about the Trinity. I'll grant you. I'll grant you that. Yeah. Grant you that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't personally believe that. Yeah. Saying, I'll what? Grant you that. I don't believe that. Why not? I'm gonna believe you here right now. Yeah, look, yeah. Yeah. look at another idea. Look at here, here, look at here. Read that one here. In the beginning, beginning. God yeah. created the heavens and the earth. Yes. Uh -huh. God, the earth was without form mm -hmm. yeah. and void, and huh. darkness was on the face of the deep. Huh? And the spirit of God oh. was hovering over the face. The spirit of God? Spirit of God. Okay. And then he said that? And then God said that. Mm -hmm. So that's a two part of the Trinity here. Okay. There, all okay. Great, all sure. Okay. Now watch okay. this also. There's sure. yeah. parts there too. And he said, "Come, let us make man yes, our us. image." Our Jesus yes. literally is the image of God to everyone else. He exists within the Father, so to speak, but he is also the image so to everyone else. So, in this particular thing, and I think throughout the Old Testament, you can make the argument that the Holy Spirit is referenced. You can make the argument that the Father is referenced. Right. right? 
But from what I understand, the son is not referenced. Uh, he just read Isaiah 19. No, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> but we, we're, we're, is, it, is it that I read the son... I Isaiah listen, 43. Listen, actually, I'm speaking from ignorance on this because I haven't no, read it. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. I'm saying... As long as you are... You want to learn? We have a no problem. Otherwise, we don't want to sure. waste time for just like every Muslim yeah, okay. trip. Okay, I, yeah. I, uh, also yeah. Sure, to, yeah. I just wanted to... Uh, sure. So, I just well, want to... We like say, your conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. And exactly. it shows... We love the conversation, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Look, just, right here, this is a weird one. Sure. And I, I tell you, even Christians, I ask them about it. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how you believe if I tell you heavenly, heavenly things? things. Okay. No one has ascended to heaven. Okay. No one has okay. ascended to heaven. Yes. You hear that? Yes. Think about it. But he who came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. He is the only one who came down from heaven. Me and you, Adam, born of the earth. Me, you, born of the earth, so to speak. We we did not pre-exist before conception. Jesus pre-existed. I don't want to be mean, but Muhammad did not pre-exist before his conception. He had a mom and a dad. That's not mean, that's just true. I know, but, but I'm just saying, Moses, yes. let me go all Jewish prophets. But, sure. Moses, but, all these guys did not pre-exist before but, they were conceived. Right. Okay. But do, 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 you believe that, do you believe that uh, uh, Jesus died or not? We don't believe that Jesus died. So what happened to Jesus? Did you believe you get that? the okay. memo? Okay. No okay. hard work. We believe that. Uh, <laughs> no, no, hold on. So, uh, that, Tom, Tom, he... I'm familiar with this. Okay, he said that know. Jesus did not die? We believe that Jesus was raised up and he will come to come to earth during the end times and then he will die. So you think a Quran lies if something is, is contradicts the Quran? Let me, I'm going to, because I just will read this one here. Sure. Okay, here we go. And remember... No, 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 hold on, no, no, not this one, here we go. Okay, go ahead, what you're saying that, okay? Yeah. What you say? saying? Have anything to add to it. I mean, it's just that's our that's our belief. That's one. You know, there's a, there's a bit of a how do I say this? There's contention between. Do you know who Ahmadis are? You probably know. yes, of course I Ahmadis know. believe that Jesus died, but he's not going to come. Right? And they're they're, they're right true. actually. They're gonna they're gonna uh, find. Yeah. We well, don't believe that, right? But okay, but watch this. Watch what I'm saying. Tony brought a point about an angel when he comes to earth. Let's say he's he, manifested. An angel yes. is manifested a man. Yes. Do you? And I'm saying manifested in that word. Okay. Sure. When other men are looking at him, do you see a man? Yes. Okay. How many times have you ever seen somebody pick up a sword, a dagger, or whatever, and hack at that dude and have that angel die? You ever heard anything like that? No. <laughs> no. They cannot kill an angel, angel sure. who was manifested as a man. You're saying even the manifestation cannot be Hold on. Can. No. I'm saying is they cannot kill that manifestation. Okay. In other words, they're kind of operating in the spiritual realm. Okay. Well, I got it. So that's okay. Kind of I know, but you hear me out on this. Yeah. Why I'm, I'm explaining why it was so important for Jesus to actually come in the flesh to redeem man for man. Okay. It was going to take a real man. Sure. So here's here's where it gets. So I understand the I understand the. Uh, now, when we say Jesus died, yes, he had to die. That's right. Most of Muslims think, oh, how could God get killed? Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. Jesus is God, but he was purposely come as okay, a real you. man. I'm going to give you that. Pain. Just read that for me. It's loud. Okay, not loud. Man. We granted not to any man before the permanent life. If thou, then thou, thou shouldest die, would they live permanently? Okay, so and read that again. Jesus. Read that again. Tom, we listen to that. granted not to any man before the permanent life. We, we never now, granted any man permanent life. Right. Of course. Okay, then so, so how, how this is, this is a bit after, this is Muhammad and this is Jesus. So, so Allah lying here, he said he never permit anybody to yeah, be alive. We don't believe that Jesus is yeah. going to be, a, he's not, he's going to die. I'm he sorry? But he's saying that he never give anybody life. But it's permanent life. Yeah, but permanent. If we believe that he's going to die, then he's not given permanent life. He can uh, live a thousand. We know that. We know that. What's it called? No, no, wait, 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 wait. He's saying like that. that he never gave anybody permanent, permanent life. life. Of course. So how did Jesus live? What do you mean? I don't understand. It's so he, okay. wasn't killed, right? he wasn't killed. He wasn't killed. No, no, no. Okay, no, we're not talking about the yes. life. We're not talking about the killed or. He said that Allah never give anybody permanent life. Yes. Okay, before Muhammad, he said that. So Jesus was before Muhammad. How can he have a permanent life? But he's not but given don't permanent believe life. That he's I'm sorry. He's not given permanent life. So how he got lifted up? 
That's not him dying. It's like, we didn't believe I'm he sorry, he said he did. Allah we said. That so he was so who, who's going to uh, go to the heaven after he die? Yes. So why? That's exactly. So how he left without right, but, uh, death? But here's the thing. I'll yes. put it like this. So there's this. Uh, there's oh, so you are better than Allah again. <laughs> Man, you're explaining no. me something here. Uh, but I'm giving you an explanation from the Quran. How are you getting the explanation? Go to, go to Surah Kaf. Okay, okay. go to Surah Kaf. Yeah. Because I, I, I understand what you're getting at. I'm not getting at I'm just reading no, the no, scripture. No, no. Allah said that I never give permanent life to anybody. We have to have holistic understanding. We have to read the whole scripture and we have to understand verses. Verse from verse, right? Sure, go ahead. So here's an important thing that I'll, sure. I'll show you. Right? Go ahead. So we believe, so I'll give you an example. Humans are you under pulling out from the Quran? So just give a little no, no, reference. No, so I'm, going to, I'm prefacing this, right? So, so you are better than Allah again. Okay, hold on. Do you want to go so, she's done. They told me don't don't lift anything heavy. Yeah, so don't down. do that. Yeah. I can take care of one. Oh, I think somebody's helping you already. Doctor's orders. So you have to bring the certificate. Do we hear money? Yeah. Hello. I mean. Sorry, I'm looking for. So so take your time. How long has it? So here's an interesting thing. So sure. Surah Al-Kaf. I'm sure you've probably read this at some point. Okay. So there's this. So the story is that there's these three youths, right? These three youths are believers, right? And they're amongst people who are pagans, right? They go. They take refuge in the cave. From what we believe, they're. Uh, it's it's not exactly explained, but from what we we understand is like basically God has essentially guided them to do this. They went to the cave. They slept. They they wake up. They think. They ask each other, "How long have we been sleeping?" They say, "Part of a day or a day." What ends up happening is they go out to the uh, people or whatever, and they they start they're like to go out to buy the finest food. When that happened, they this is now this isn't stated in the Quran, but we understand this from the uh, external tradition. We're talking about the Quran, but no, 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 I'm saying the Quran I'm from the. The, I'm trying to explain the story. So it'll be interesting. To tell me. tell read the story so we understand okay, that. Yeah. So, so the, we raise them up that they might raise them up from what their sleep. What do say that raise them asleep? Well, I mean, it says from sleep. Uh, that's in the bracket, so you know. Right. So, but but, but like see, again, you are no, saying no, no, but something they were sleeping, which. So then they were how do you know that you're sleeping or death? Allah can do miracle or not? Oh, okay, okay, okay. One point though huh. is we believe that that they no, were no, in the Allah, state of. Yeah, Allah can do miracle or not? Of course. So why? I mean, so read that again, so we understand that. Such being their state, also in brackets, by the way. Okay, so. Okay, so we raise them up uh, from sleep that they might so question each other. Raise them up from why can I be a death from that? It, you know, so you that, can say it could that, be death, right? Okay, you yeah, can say that. okay we okay, can fine. say that, but I have no problem with that. Sure. But ha what do you have to do with the other verse? Which oh, the, the verse we're talking about, about yeah. Or, sorry, no, no, the verse so. about Jesus. Yeah. I'll explain. So they woke up and then they say this. No, so they wake up from the death, so don't don't worry about it, okay? So we don't know. We, they woke up. That's all we know. You're not. I'm not going to say they woke up from death. I'm going to say they woke up. Well, well, then Allah does not know stuff. <laughs> man, like I told, told you ten times, leave Islam as soon as possible because you guys do not have an answer, man. <laughs> it's explained by Allah. It's not explained. He, he's putting himself on an explanation better okay. than Allah then. Are you doing it? So, he's going to say, uh, for instance, he would stone you or force you to return to their cult. No. Uh, sorry. Um, Okay, so find out which is the best and bring some of you. But but here is the thing. Sure. How you can think that I know we we Christian we clear we say that Jesus died. Mm -hmm. But you even in Quran, many mm -hmm. texts say that. So many many verses in the Quran say that. Sure. But the problem is here you saying that something coming from a hadith, you and say you like that is gonna come at the end. Huh? If his doctor told him not to Yeah, it just uh, I, I can help it though. Okay. Tom! Tom! Yeah, he shouldn't, he shouldn't. Yeah, he shouldn't, yeah. You could find out the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. See here. Yeah. And then you say that he's gonna come back and yes. then he will die. You gotta know the reason of death. death. Why death, okay. death, death is existing. Yes. Death is a result of sin. You get it here? So if he already the Bi heaven. Bible Bible say that what, what I'm trying to uh, yeah, yeah, say the yeah. Bible say that mm -hmm. because of the sin the fl fleshly death has to come mm -hmm. fleshly death has to come okay so that means Jesus did not did any sin mm -hmm. yeah but he he, he he died behalf of us when behalf he died on behalf of so us as a savior but I'm not finished yet, yet. Go ahead, go ahead. as a savior yes but the question is you saying that he went to heaven 
and then it's going to come to de- de- back and it's going to die. Why the reason he has to die? That's a question. Because he's human. He's human. From our perspective. So, but, so but the death is a result of sin. Yeah, but you know, yeah. how, so how human can be staying in the heaven? Can yeah. any, any man can stay in the human? That's, that's, a, in the that's a good question. We don't know that. That's exactly that's when so leave Islam, yeah. boss, because he. I mean, I, I you have no like answer. I mean, look, how many wrong. how many times do we have to prove you wrong, and you don't want to leave Islam, man? No, One I time is wrong, no, 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 two times are wrong, no, three no, times no. are wrong. No, I mean, no. keep wrong, no. and you don't have answer. No. What good is that? No. And you study. We did not study both that much the way you explaining it. Okay, mm-hmm. we did not study that much. We're not scholar. We're not teacher. Sure. Okay, we're not imam or anything. Sure, okay. Sure, sure. But the way you study that, you should be leave Islam right now, boss. No, I don't. I know, well, that's fine. Take your time. Yeah. I want, I want to ask one question. When you have so been asking so I've many been, questions. I've been, I understand. But actually, this is, I would like to ask, because I'm Christian. I'm not done. I'm going to come back when you ask okay. questions. When you guys done, I'm still going to bring this thing. I know. But fair enough, fair enough. I would, I would yeah. say, I want one, one thing, because I'm curious about this. I have sure. Christian friends, of course. We talk sure. about this kind of stuff. Sure, here, sure. Right? One thing, though, I've never... Um, what is it? So you believe that Jesus, the human, died, right? Correct. Flesh that, died. And you're saying that flesh. that flesh died. That's right. That flesh paid the sin, the wage of everyone's sin. That's right. 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 So that was the flesh that died. Right? That's right. But the reason that that flesh is the wage of sin for everyone mm-hmm. is because it was sinless, right? That's right. That's now, right. Now here's the question. That sin, that flesh was also hypostatically attached to God, correct? Yeah, to the okay. Son that is the God, right? Mm-hmm. What is that a necessary? Is that hypostatic union a necessary component to Jesus being sinless? Yes. You would say so, right? Yeah, it but, has to be. Okay, but it was the human that died, not the not the God. Not God cannot die. Right? That's right. Well, you would say that the hypostatic the hypostatic union to Jesus. Did not see. This is where it gets very, very complicated to me because it doesn't. To me, it doesn't. I'm, I'm going to explain it very easy. Easy. Way, very easy. When you're going to die, sure. Your flesh will die. Sure. The flesh will die. The soul does not die. I mean, how do you know that soul and flesh are no, different? I'm just saying. I'm saying from. Oh, so you're saying there's no distinction between the two? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same thing with the finger. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so my question is that, so I'm according to Islam, according yeah. to Islam, yes. when you die, yes. so you totally die? When, no, of course not. So your flesh is alive? Flesh is dead. Flesh is dead? Yes. And your spirit go to the hell and heaven? Well, we believe we go to Barzakh, but I guess it's like... But, okay, so, okay. So, somewhere, somewhere, and then we judge, and then we go wherever sure, we're yeah. supposed to, okay? Yeah. So, same thing with the same, with the God when he was in the flesh. So, like the word became a flesh, flesh okay. and the word which was God, he went back to where he come from. So, what I'm so this is again, I'm sorry. Like, uh, sure. see, these are kind of questions that I don't see in the conversation. This is not even there's no there's no God. I hope you understand there's not gotcha. I'm genuinely trying to understand what the gotcha is in like oh you don't. I'm no, genuinely no. trying to because this is something that Leave I never see anyone. Christian or Muslim even asked this, and I've always wondered, like as curiosity, like what exactly, how does this this mechanism of uh, Jesus dying solve the sin problem, right? So what I'm you so want to know? Go I'm ahead. Dumb, dumb. Okay. Very very easy easy. Hmm? Sin entered the world through Adam, yes. first man. Yes. First guy. Yes. One sin. Uh, sure. I'm okay. him what he was saying. Once say. he has sin. Yes. So tell sin. me what what sin. Every well, man behind him has sin entered the world. Sin entered the world. Okay. That's right. Uh, through now, through the, okay. there's only going to be a reversal of the sin of the world mm-hmm. if a perfect man. So first man sin, what they call Jesus second Adam, a perfect man okay. has to reverse the sin. So it's only it's only Adam's sin that's being. Hold on. Okay. Watch okay. this. Yes. Every man who sins yes. shall surely die. Got it? Okay. Want to know what the reversal is? Every sinless man should try to win this. Got it? So what? When the devil killed Jesus, yes. he didn't realize God just reversed the curse on mankind. Because the devil had a right to kill every sinful man. But when he killed a perfect man, that's the reversal of the curse. Let, that's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I see. Let us say. Let us say that things sometimes yes. are true, we do agree true, but we cannot understand everything about it full, fully. For sure. example, right. the being of God right. out of the universe. Okay, what were you, sorry? The being of God out of the universe. It's out of the universe. 
yes. before he created everything. We do believe that God was existing. Yes. But where he was, you cannot get any question. Hmm. Because he doesn't need any any any, any place. He's the one who created places. I uh, did you get it? Yeah. But the truth is mm -hmm. that God was existed and he can't be out with nothing. He can't be because he's God and he's the one who created everything. Did you get it? I, s I see what you're saying. But none any created being can say God it was somewhere right. before he created anything because that is above of our knowledge. Yeah, that's right. Did you get it's it? Guys, so guys, oh, sorry. So, okay, let me say, before yeah. he created heaven and earth, mm -hmm. or universe, there, there was nothing there, and he was there. Was he was there. Yes. That's the truth. That's the truth. We, we all agree on that. that yes. But can you imagine in your your mind how he can be with no no, no place? You yeah, cannot imagine that. We can't. Can't we can't imagine his that's eternality. Okay. We can't okay. imagine that's his. That, that's the point yes. here. That's the point here. So even him taking flesh. Sure. That thing, the thing I want to let you know how sure. you're gonna do know that. Sure. One of things. Like your, what 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 uh, Tom. Tom just told you, because he's one, the only one who's sinless. That's one. But here, okay. if we sin against the Holy God, Holy God, yes, we sin against the Holy God. We yes. break His law. Yes. Now we have to pay him a penalty. Okay. Who can pay God penalty life? Because all of us we owe God. Our lives is not ours. He's the one who created the life. Did you get it? Did you say that one more time? You said okay. All created beings. Yes. Yes. Their life is not there. The person who gave them that life is God. Yes. Yeah. Did you get it? Gave them life. That's yeah. right. Okay. Now let me see. I'm going to give you an example. Sure. If I owe you fifteen dollars. Yes. Sure. Now Tom also owe you fifteen dollars. Sure. Now I found you talking to Tom. You gotta give me my, my fifteen dollars. Okay? He has to or okay. yeah. Then I said, okay, I have fifteen dollars. I'm gonna pay for Tom. What are you gonna say? You're gonna say, oh, you're gonna pay for Tom. Pay for yourself first because I owe you yes, also. You also owe me, yeah. Did you get it? Yes. That why an angel being, angel, angel like being, being, angel being, being yes. cannot save us even because if they said we're gonna pay our life. Sure. For human being, uh -huh. God is gonna say, okay, what are you gonna pay? Because they break my law. Here, your life is not. I'm the one who gave you that life. Did you get it? So it has to be God Himself to save the human being. See that. This, that this is where That's why God has to take two okay. nature. Has to have two nature. See, see, this is why I was, this is why I was bringing up the hypostatic union, right? This is why it's kind of important because yeah. when you say that Jesus, the human, died, right? Yeah. The human. The human himself is not. We would say that that human, while he's perfect and all that stuff, is it the fact that he's attached to to? Is it the hypostatically attached, hypostatically unionized God attached to the human that is what what it gives you the payment of? of do you see what I'm saying here? It's kind of complicated. Yep. Mm -hmm. is yeah, that, that, yeah. Are you saying? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. are you saying that was that? The, is it the human himself? Like, let's say that Jesus, like, was it the human who died, or was it the fact that Jesus attached to God? Had to die, and then that God also died, or God die, God cannot die. See, this is where it gets. A little we confusing. already told you earlier. But see, you're saying that the, he said that yeah, the wage has to be God. God has yeah, to yeah. be. So, no, so no, like no, no, no. God, look, man has to do it because see, the one man did the sin, I and one man has to release him, and that man has to come as a sinless, which is very impossible. Yeah. But the God has to do it, so God did that. But and that God sin only wouldn't that wage of death be only enough for Adam's sin? Sorry? Wouldn't the wage of the human Jesus, yes. his wage, only be enough for another human? But that's why the human, that's why the human of Jesus died. A human to human? Yes. But for all of humans, yes. it has to be ha though, See, right? that, that, wa that was a deal. Um, and then if you think about ideas played out, sure. Moses would have been an example of the law. Yes. Do you know he did not make it into the promised land? You know, in the Old Testament, it says, by the law is the knowledge of death. It doesn't say, by the law is salvation. Why okay. by the law is the knowledge of death? Because the more we look at it, we go, man, I couldn't do this, mm -hmm. ever. Okay. Okay. In reference to the commandments. Right? The commandments, you have any questions? the sacrifices, you have any questions? the particulars. No, they're ready. Ready. <laughs> that one. Brother, I'm not going to end it, so we, it's time to we go home. Sometimes that you go, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. For paying the sin debt. Sin debt, yes. We Those. could not do it. Okay.
unfortunately, I have to. Like I said, we are here to discuss, okay. and uh, we always, always gonna see Sorry, again. Okay, okay, what? So, I am. Uh, we respect you really because the way you discuss, you, we respect people. We do that, and you have an open mind. Although we still have a good point.